Hello and welcome everyone. This is Blackadder at Blackadder's place and welcome to today's stream. As you can tell, we are going to be having today, well, a completely new game. So that's going to be a bit of a solution, a bit of an impromptu one to what to stream for Thursday. As, yeah, well, just today they actually released a new demo for Black Gazer, Couriers of Darkness, which is a game I have been following quite, no, for quite a few years already, as they are working on that. For some time and it is kind of like the classic old school RPG of the isometric way so that means like Baldur's Gate of course, Icewind Dales, Pillars of Eternity of the new ones which frankly right about now just the menu is quite a bit reminiscent of <laughs> and if you remember when we played that on the stream a few years back but yeah well definitely looking forward to testing it out next week I'm thinking on Thursday if I'm not mistaken or simply next week you can find it on Steam they should be arriving on early access. That's also something they have been teasing for quite some time. So that should be next week, 26th, I'm thinking August. So feel free to check it out on Steam, but much more importantly, you can also potentially check out the game itself. You can be getting the demo key if there are still plenty key av keys available, hopefully yes. On the way that I actually linked on my Discord, Twitter and Facebook. So you can get the link there into the is a key giveaway now and then test the game yourself in the demo here which is something that we're gonna be exactly doing today okay i think maybe we can be right now putting up the music a little bit higher as you can see i'm gonna be playing on low i have already been of course testing it before and it's a bit uh, up there on the gpu considering that i'm not having a bad one that's maybe something that well they before early access i guess they're gonna be having plenty of time to improve on that so i'd rather Try it on low and also so that we potentially gonna be having better stream. Not like I'm having the best modern computer, right? It's not bad what I have, but let's not test it too much. Otherwise, I'm gonna be leaving everything as it is just to be kind of like appreciating the game for exactly its design and how the developers actually want us to appreciate it and play it overall. So yeah, well, from what I have seen, they are just kind of like classic things that you might be knowing from the classic other RPGs. You can see right now the difficulty. Novice, classic, hard, veteran graph, just playing on the standard. You can see yeah, you could have, do you have a few extra options in here, some tooltips, whatever along those lines, controls. Yeah, probably gonna be learning that somewhere down the line, just gonna be trying to play uh, through the game as it, as it goes. No, well, of course you have the classic pauses. Probably gonna be then trying to maybe just put some in uh, that I'm used to. For example, something like Trap Detect Detected is quite nice. Very similar to the original Baldur's Gate, of course, in that. For example, Enemy Spotted, classic auto save or the auto pause rather option that could be also helpful. You don't exactly have the details here. I'm thinking it's gonna be maybe, maybe for when the game is gonna be a bit further in development. You're gonna be able to customize it. You have a few presets, of course, as the standard that it actually set me up with the most medium. But I guess that's not counting for the streaming, so I'd rather actually keep it that way. So, let's do a new game. And of course, we're gonna be right now creating a new character. <laughs> that is absolutely for certain. Again, otherwise, you can see, choose from a few that are actually set up here. Rilo, Shaman, Templar, Swindler. <laughs> Interesting name. Oh, basically it's gonna be some kind of rogue or something. Necromancer, fighter, already kind of like setting us up what the game is gonna be about. Winter Mage, Ranger of course, and Highlander. Okay, let's create a new one. I'm also playing on normal hard drive, not playing on SSD, so that's why the loadings are gonna be probably a bit longer as well, but I'm kind of used to it. That's simply how it goes today. Maybe a bit of a shame that especially games like these are a bit presupposing that you're gonna be playing on SSDs, even though they are old school games. So I guess it'd be probably better if it really didn't as much, but nonetheless it is what it is. Oh, okay, recent sex. Uh, classic binary, of course. As you like it. And as we are used to. Hmm, can we choose a human, dwarf, elf, Feldegook, real? What the hell are those? I'm gonna be human for sure, but can be checking out the others. 
Van Sylvan tribes who lived close to the north. Demigo Dargalmir grew jealous over the love of elves, showed for Tilindia and imprisoned a number of elven tribes in the snowy cold north. He would forge his own race and command them as he saw fit. While the elves were first the creation of the God King and the Green Goddess, and as they changed to survive in the north, they also realized their strength that they would need to be free. Dargalmir eventually realized this mistake and allowed his creations to rule themselves and commanded them to form six tribes, drawing from the strength granted by their cold imprisonment and their god and goddess, they rebelled against their demigod. Feldegug are similar to elves but much paler. They are resistant to hard environment who most would consider unliv unlivable. They are rarely seen outside of their snowy northern homelands and most other races are very distrustful of them. So basically some winter elves. Seems like real always what? Uh, huh. <laughs> okay, it's a bit interesting guy. He reminds me slightly of uh, In Place of Eternity. There was the Momoa, I think he was called. If I'm not, at this point, I could be misremembering already. He was kind of like the big dude. Kind of slightly inspired by, I think, it's some Pacific Islands. It seems to be maybe slightly similar. Travelers, traders, and alchemists from the Eastern Empires. The Rio are a child race of a powerful genie and Elenuator. Their homeland is shrouded in mystery, so few outside the Rio themselves know much about them. Uh, what is known is what, that they are seekers of pleasure and experience, consummate traders and nomadic caravaneers. Rio are a large, physically imposing race who bear a passing resemblance to elephants. Yeah, that's very similar to that. They eschew religion and favor its displays of wealth and have a natural talent for brewing and drying. And hey Rich, thank you very much for the 8. Not gonna be having Age of Mythology today. Trying a new game, new RPG. Yeah, it's going to be uh, entering early access next week, but they have released demo today. So I got a key for that, so gonna be having some look into that, how it actually plays, in case anybody was interested in some more Baldur's Gate-like game. Okay, we're gonna be going with standard humans. Maybe it's gonna be interesting to learn a bit about like the lore. Because it's gonna be close to D&D, &D, I assume, but it's not gonna be exactly that, right? So I guess maybe it's gonna be letting us a bit know about possibly some inner issues of the world. Maybe it could be useful to actually get through all of them. So humans were once a united tribe that roamed Yerengal for generations. It's gonna be the world, right? Yerengal. As otherwise, I don't have too much like a deep lore information about it all that much. I'm just gonna follow in the game. Uh, like Facebooks and their announcements and everything. So the Ra goddess of greed, Zornilsa, infected their hearts slowly with greed, avarice and jealousy. The single tribe of men became many as they turned one as they turned on one another. They warred for resources and land, forgetting their roots, their bonds were broken and their alliances splintered. Humans come in many different shapes and colors and can be found all over Yerengal. They are natural farmers, working the land as an artist's work clay. Human versatility means that they can fill virtually any role. Classic. There's some difference if you switch into female. Nope. <laughs> it's a long sword. It seems actually a bit like disproportionately longer for... Yeah, it definitely is. Definitely is. Is it supposed to be meaning that the female model is shorter? Yeah, I think that's gonna be the effect of it. The sword is the same, but like the model is actually changing size and therefore that's why the sword is actually looking bigger now. <laughs> Interesting. Oh well, dwarves do have got apparently a lot of lore here. So the devil god Hrothgor was angry over the creation of the elves and the threat they represented to his plans to throw the world into darkness. So it seems like it's gonna be classic setup, elves hate dwarves and vice versa. He sent a succubus to pregnant elven women in an effort to steal... What? Aren't succubi supposed to be female? Oh right, this way, I haven't actually read it all, I guess. In an effort to steal the essence that lie within their wombs. Yeah, okay. Should have read the whole sentence, sorry. The elven mothers despaired, but the green goddess told her daughters to seek the first waters of Yerengal. They did so, but were trapped in a stone cavern, where Rothgor sent demons to destroy them. The children survived the attack, but their mothers died. 
Men in the mountains found the babes and raised them as their own, while the elven progeny were stunted and hairy. <laughs> the children, now known as dwarves, grew and prospered, sharing their love of, of uh, their love of from their elven parents, but began to exhibit a preference for the depths of the world. Dwarves are very materialistic, but have a strong connection to clan and family. They are stout and powerfully built, well suited to exploiting the natural tunnels that form deep in the ground. So far it seems like that it's gonna be fairly standard to what we are used to from D&D. Interesting, the dwarves are effectively elves. Just kinda like stunted ones. <laughs> yeah, classic elves. No, bearded elf, that is something that you don't see too often. Right to be probably out there a bit, hipster, even for the elves, I guess. As the tribes of men fell to greed and the world was spoiled, the green goddess wept. The king, or the king god allowed Thilindia to select a few tribes of men, who those least affected by greed, to be her vassals in Isilmerald. Isil Thilindia chose 11 tribes of men to claim as her own. Those 11 tribes were come to be known as elves as time passed. Yeah, that's actually quite a nice idea. From 11 comes elves. And elves share a special connection with nature, feeling an inherent connection to all natural things. Their generations apart uh, from men have changed them physically. Their narrow frames allow them to move, move faster and quieter than men. Their ears grew pointed to better pick out the distant or small sounds. The elves tend to be xenophobic <laughs> and haughty towards the other races due to their chosen status imparted by Telindia. That's actually a bit interesting. Like elves are usually touted in those RPGs like, like the above things, but it definitely isn't uncommon that they would be considering themselves the betters. So that's not like too bad. Okay, so let's go for humans. They apparently have a minus some maximum supernatural, okay. Whoa! Dwarfies apparently cannot be a lot of things here. Cannot be Templar, it's a bit interesting maybe. Cannot be Swindler, huh. Can they build war clubs and hammers regardless of class? Making sense I guess. Maximum physique, they are not uh, nice to look at. Supernatural also minus. Damage with war clubs and hammers increase battle axes and slings and fusty balls. Fusty balls, let's see what it's going to be. Could be thinking maybe it could be some guns, possibly some arquebuses, who knows. Cannot be necro, making sense. Templar, shaman. Bit weird. It's shaman therefore gonna be having some negative connotations. Like something as you have wizard and warlock. Like druid and shaman therefore. Maybe. Plus some to maximum dexterity, minus physique. Uh, that's maybe a bit interesting, but okay. They have to be having some specialty and damage with bows and arrows. Classic. Feldegook. That's basically elf, but apparently better intelligence. But charisma is too low. And trilos are going to be cleric winter mage templar not. Uh, they have better physique, but they are a bit clumsier. Okay. No, as I said, classic human. Probably cannot be changing how it looks. Maybe appearance later. We'll see. So what are we going to be? Probably some classic ones. Probably not gonna be reading all of them. There are tons of them. Maybe just uh, unusual ones. Convoker. Excuse most other magical pursuits in favor of the summoning capabilities of each spell class. Convokers are versatile masters of adaptation. Instead of focusing on the icy grasp of a winter mage or the dark energies of a necromancer, Convokers call upon a wide range of creatures to suit any needed task. Uh, don't mistake their versatility as pacifism. Summoning abilities they bring to bear can rain destruction on their enemies through claw, flame and steel. Or, or steel. Can be probably right about now going through it all in case you wanted to actually read it. Not gonna be on the stream, not gonna be reading it probably. Each and every one of them. Uh, 
Well, let's combat the Rinty as Templar, sure. Well, Templar is simply Paladin, right? I think it's gonna be quite a bit classic. Nothing exactly extraordinary, probably there, I'm assuming. Druid, yes. Uh, okay. Gonna be having steward stewards of the wild with rangers, of course. Fighter is a classic. Ready for anything. And versatile. Highlander is gonna be barbarian. Thick armor that doesn't <laughs> thick armor that doesn't restrict their movement that helps them blend into natural environments. No, that's just a classic barbarian. Necromancy, you probably know what that's gonna be all about. Viewed by society in a negative light and shunned due to their proximity to death. Necromancies understand that the dead body is just a vessel, okay. Pursue great mysteries, blah blah blah. Necromancers are not evil, that's important to know. They are merely focused on the inherent powers of life and death, sometimes even more than their own existence. Because of this, powerful necromancers are an extremely rare sight, but the most powerful are said to have transcended death and can even create powerful undead servants. Hmm. I'm wondering if, for example, if he had ultra high graphics, it would be looking better than Mores. I'm assuming so. So, just gonna excuse me that I'm playing on the lowest details. So, hopefully, that's gonna be a problem for you. As I said, just try to get the demo yourself. Or next week, you can try the early access if you're gonna be interested in the game. And you can then have a look yourself. Hopefully, there are gonna be also some other streams with higher quality, which you can then experience the games through, or the game through. Yeah, then just a balance between man and nature, sure, something like a druid's but a bit more archery and fighty, let's say. They abhor the unnatural and are trying to take down the undead and other aberrant creatures or the creations of men. Sure, so the shamans are. Shamans are being of faith, or the beings of faith, uh, channel power in the unusual manner. Communicate with spirits, okay. Ancient magic, ability to travel with their non-physical souls to further their communion with their god tends to confuse more short-sighted magical practitioners. Yeah, so it seems like that they do have a bit of a like a negative connotation as we slightly thought. Spellweaver, it's gonna be probably something like a sorcerer, right? Most common form of wizard. Okay, so that's gonna be wizard. <laughs> Not sorcerer. Yeah, so that's a general mage. Spellweavers focus on a single school of magic, while others seek to explore each magical discipline as equals. Ah. Okay, so that's apparently a bit of a difference here. So yes, I'm gonna be looking for specialty therefore. I want to be having probably a specialist or the specialist general mage. I'll be thinking. That's probably what I will be wanting to play. Swindler? No, yeah, well, that's gonna be... Is that like a thief? Nope, that's a thief. So Swindler is going to be something like a rogue. Oh yeah, I can see burglars sometimes also called that way. And like thieves, Swindlers hide in plain sight. Because of this, they are better in the open combat, while their plans and machinations unfold in the shadows. Hmm. Templar will be classic paladin. Yes, quite of course. So right now looking at the Holberg. Reminds me I was just an hour ago looking at video kings and generals about the Byzantine army. Interesting one as well. I recommend it if you are into history. 
and stuff like that. A warrior piece, of course, Gothic. Special against undead. Thief is gonna be also normal. Footpads or royal spies. Sure, subterfuge misdirection. Standard thief. And what is Winter Mage? Is that skull? Winter Mages who seek the mastery of the harsh magics of the cold north. They have an extremely high resistance to cold and can withstand temperatures that would kill mortal men. Because of this, they are uncomfortable in warmer climates, <laughs> sure, but some Winter Mages still travel to further their knowledge. Winter Mages need less sleep than other mortals, using a technique they develop known as Cold Sleep. Powerful Winter Mages can use their knowledge and magical skills to craft Ice Golems, which can serve as mighty guardians. Actually a bit tempted here by the Winter Mage, frankly, instead of the Generalist Mage. A bit more having just a personal affinity to winter as well, I'm a bit of a wintry type as well. Not enjoying too much the summer extreme heats, so that's actually a bit tempting to me. What kind of bonuses they have. Can only wear ropes, sure. Slings, throwing weapons, rod stays, no, that's classic DD, right? Focus to racial base, intelligence. Brewing and drying. Okay, so that's gonna be alchemy. Seems like in the game. Resistance to arousal. <laughs> that's probably not gonna be arousal as arousal, right? But rather. <laughs> yeah. And resistance to cold. Now that's gonna be something with the sleep, I imagine. Dexterity, of course, light armor. Mm -hmm, charisma. So far, it seems to be fairly something that you're gonna be familiar with, which I kinda enjoy. For example, when you are having the games like these that are just kinda like trying to be different for the sake of being different, which in my opinion was exactly Pillars of Eternity. It was a good game, but frankly, in my opinion, they tried to be just like way too different than they needed to be, and it made the game a bit hard to actually get into and the story was in my opinion way too convoluted especially since you needed to be getting really deep into the lore just like off the bat to understand what was really going on so i'm thinking that you need to be a bit more kind of like careful about that kind of approach or just space it differently maybe in between two games instead of just kind of like dumping the whole lore of the world in one game and may be a bit overwhelming sometimes if you don't have any kind of prior experience with the world so let's see how it's gonna be approaching this game so far i'm kind of like liking that they are a bit different but at the same time you can kind of like understand what's going on if you are having experience with other games kind of liking that that you don't have to be necessarily kind of like breaking your back trying to look for what exactly everything means but maybe it's gonna be changing if when you're gonna be in game who knows But so far, I'm kind of like content with the approach. She doesn't have to be meaning that being specific and new is something bad, but yeah, you kind of need to be a bit careful how much new you actually want to be, in my opinion. Especially in something as extremely complex as the RPGs of this type can be. Because it's okay to be trying to be new in something like a real-time strategy, for example, but here, you're actually delving into a completely different world then, and that's a different story. It's kind of showcasing what they're actually good at, and not entirely good at, in case you wanted to be looking at that in the video. Good in learning and research, apparently. Necros. Highlander, of course, good resistances. No heavy armor for them. Can I be having physique, of course? Resistances to strain, pain, pulse, and blow. Yeah, it seems like I'm gonna be some specifics to fights, apparently. Plus 
Plus four brewing and drying. It's probably gonna be high. It was plus two here. No, plus three. Okay, I'm thinking I'm gonna be choosing, gonna be going with the Winter Mage, seems fun. Let's try something like that. Oh, okay, so classic attributes. Apparently it's not gonna be random, so you're gonna be attributing manually, like in Might and Magic for example. Physique. Uh, displays a character's overall physical build and state. Character's value in physique modifies their damage dealt with physical attacks, their maximum health. Their ability to evade incoming attacks through blocking and their carrying capacity. So that's effectively a combination of strength and uh, constitution. Interesting that we are also starting on such a low number, so they are kind of doing away with the 10 plus and kind of like the 10 being a base as in DD. Dexterity is place character's agility, sure. Character's value in dexterity modifies their aim and accuracy and their chance to evade attacks through dodging and parrying. Intelligence, ability to think, plan and use logic in different situations. A character's value in intelligence modifies their efficiency with various spells and skills that depend on one's mental abilities to be performed. So we definitely want intelligence, of course. Focus displays a character's overall mental strength and resilience. Characters, sorry, a character's value in focus modifies their aim and accuracy value, their ability to evade incoming attacks through dodging and blocking, and efficiency with spells. Okay, so focus and intelligence. That's what you're gonna be having to concentrate upon. Charisma displays a character's natural aptitude to compel, attract, and influence others. Charisma modifies a character's bargain and persuasion skill and various class skills. Okay. Class skills, hmm. It's a bit vague. I'd be liking to know if actually that's gonna be affecting me somehow, if I should be increasing that. And supernatural displays a feature of characters that elevates them above ordinary creatures. Value of supernatural increases or a character's resistance values against various forms of damage and enables further special abilities. I guess maybe you want to be given at least a few of the... Oh! That's apparently even... Allocate is like automatic. It cannot be resetting that's so I don't want to be kind of like touching it. So let's do it. Yeah, that's automatic and suggested where we probably should be going. Okay. Heat, Scorching and Fire Attacks, sure. Cold and Poison. Yeah, that's classic. Okay, so let's go for Supernatural and the 4. Guess let's go to 10 here. Physique, let's get at least to 5. Dexterity, let's go at least to 5 with all of it. Uh, usually there are a lot of fire attacks, so let's go for that. Cold attack tends to be a bit lower. At the same time, we are also Winter Mage. So I guess let's roleplay with that. <laughs> Can be resisting those two. It could be then making us a bit uh, open to fire damage. Okay, let's switch it that way. Let's make a bit of a fun character light. All right. Oh, you can actually get the points for all of that. Okay, so let's go for that supernatural. Oof. Three. I uh, said so let's go. Okay, we cannot be going more than four. Okay. No, that's fixing things then. Okay, let's do base to five. I don't know, maybe like this. I'm 
we like him probably be better charisma at seven. No, and then I guess both of these. I have no idea if it's gonna be good enough or not. <laughs> He's just gonna learn as we play, I guess. Special skills. Okay. I'm liking this. This is right about now. Reminded me of Daggerfall quite a lot. And Daggerfall is one of the like topest RPG experiences. Like really, creating your own story and your own character, it really does not get better than in Daggerfall. It really doesn't. So if you are into old school games like these and RPGs, Daggerfall is really great. Especially if you are not, not especially, if you are kind of not entirely used to all the graphics anymore at this point, you can play Daggerfall Unity. It's an absolutely excellent mod to Daggerfall. And that's, at that point, the game is looking like a modern one. So definitely recommend. Same engine, by the way, as this one then. <laughs> In Unity. Okay, so what do we have here? Bargain, Persuasion. That's probably classic. Then there's more options in dialogues. That's actually something I might be wanting the persuasion there. I usually like to be solving things with dialogues, as it also often nets a bit more experience, right? Can I be actually decreasing that below the standard? Scrolls can be cast, uh, can then be cast, okay. Record of spell books. It's probably something that I want. I was thinking about the persuasion, but learning the research is really nice for us. But I'm guessing I'm gonna be putting one there anyway. I want that. It's fun. Brewing and drying, that's alchemy, right? Uh huh. Hmm, yeah. Class specific prodigy. Enables addition dialogue choices themed around wizardry. Since adding choices, it increases the bargain and persuasion score in dialogue with other wizards, alchemists, divines, and This is really cool. I'm already liking this quite a bit. Just kind of like. You have it in other games as well that you're gonna be having your dialogue options, your dialogue options influenced by who you are. But I'm also liking that it's gonna be at this point influencing also who you even speak to, not only who you are. I'm liking that. I think it might be already putting the point in there immediately, possibly. Arcane studies. Casting slots for both. Aha! Increasing casting slots for spells. Decreasing the time needed to rest. Okay. It's gonna be some interesting mechanism. It seems like that you don't. Well, that there's gonna be certain time, and not just a simple rest, as it is in, for example, Baldur's Gate to recharge spells. Elevated energy level spells. Hmm. Seems like an above mechanism of normal spells. No, that I'm torn right now between those two. Actively sense and disable hidden traps in the world. Huh. That's curious ability. That, that is actually fairly nice. In a lot of RPGs you're gonna be having it as a spell to look for traps. Here it's gonna be just an ability. Cool. Maybe it's gonna be spell as well, but nonetheless. Curious. Apparently, gonna be having already one there. Magical warden. Yeah, that's protection of a camp. Oh, protecting you from disruptions. That's cool. Huh. That is actually fairly clever because that is a like a common mechanism, of course, in RPGs. Actually, never thought about having an ability to keep protecting you as you have in like Harry Potter, right? In the Deathly Hallows, the first one. Where Hermiona is gonna be putting up the barrier, so it's something similar. It's actually fairly clever. Now well, I can see what kind of twist you can be putting on even something that is fairly like filled with common tropes. Nice. 
No, okay, so studies are prodigy. Kind of liking the prodigy a bit more for the dialogues, as I said. But arcane studies, those are not bad. Weapons, slings, and fustibles. Sure. So fustibles. Oh, right now it's probably that's gonna be like. Mm, I don't know how it's called otherwise, but in as you have a tube, and from that you're gonna be blowing or the blowing into it and some darts coming out of that. That's probably what it's going to be. It's actually a fairly similar word to that in Czech that we used as kids, because obviously it's a classic weapon that you make out of pens, right? <laughs> so I actually wonder if that's some kind of connection there. <laughs> Thinking that might be it. Throwing, of course, that's something like darts and throwing stars and whatever, whatever. Small blades, mm -hmm. classic daggers. Can you use even, or they use even short swords? Huh, so daggers and short swords are gonna be the same. That's curious. So mage is gonna be short swording? Huh. Curious. In case the user's aim accuracy with stays, uh, that's probably gonna be going for the classic. I'm not sure I'm gonna be some karate mage with unarmed. Probably not. Let's probably get the classic staves. Though the small ba small blades is really curious if you're gonna be able to use swords. And initial spells. Mm, yeah, we're gonna be... You don't have too much of a choice here, so I guess it's gonna be on the simple side here. Essence of gold, sure, so effectively base damage spell. And stone wall is... Blocks movement and projectiles. Actually, classic wall, interesting. No, nonetheless, you yeah, at this point need to be going for both. And there's the appearance. What can you change? Okay, so it's gonna be Baldur's Gate like. You can be changing the major colors. Alright, so major color is gonna be green. I like that. A big brighter one. No, that's it. Uh, probably this one, I guess. Minor color is going to be. Let's switch one. That's that. This can be going for orange, maybe. Mm, like a bit shinier, shinier one, I guess. Skin color seems to be alright. Eye color. Let's go for green as well. Having kind of like gray, gray green, so let's go for that. I'm guessing there are gonna be plenty more options as the game is gonna be released, of course, or maybe mod it in. And hair color, mm, yeah, I'm thinking that's fine. This one, this is gonna be too blonde, I guess. Hmm. Between this one and that one can be even <laughs> can be even an old mage. Yeah, this is kind of like a light brownish into the blonde a bit. Like in that, I'm thinking this one is a bit too bright. I'm thinking something in between those two I'll be probably liking. But let's go with this one. Oh, okay, we're gonna be testing those, of course. Clipping through that, unfortunately. No, 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 no man bun. Nope, simply not. <laughs> Bolt is kind of cool. Oh man, that's nah, 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 nah. That's a bit too zoomer for me. 
that's not good either. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm really thinking that they are having really kind of like a cool styles. Then I'm thinking that plenty of people will be able to choose what they want from that. Yeah, okay, that's kind of like the Viking style. Mohawk is of course classic. Thinking I would be actually quite a bit uncommon mage with that. Yeah, I'm thinking the standard one was actually okay. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that. It's called Balbo? Really? <laughs> That's looking kind of bad. <laughs> oh, it seems like there is something a bit missing in there. Ringed? Oh man. Hmm, it's probably go clean shaven. And you can apparently pick yourself even just to be looking like a female if you wish. Why not? So do you have here pictures? Kind of nice one, nice art. Quality art here. So who is some kind of mage? Can I actually even import one? I would be happy to do that if you can. I'm planning some kind of playthrough of Baldur's Gate and I'm certainly gonna be uploading not only my picture but also tones that you can do that. I would be really loving if games allowed it through as well. So it would be quite a nice addition because it's just adding into immersion quite a lot, at least for me personally that is. Because you then literally play yourself. Mm -hmm. So already elves. This one is a bit creepy. The last one. Oh, this one is... Uh, that's actually supposed to be Elf or... Some Dwarf? No, Dwarfs are these. I think it's supposed to be some Elf already. But we don't really have human mages, just kind of like this guy. This one is weird. It would be nice if you actually had pictures that could be complementing what you have chosen, for example, like clean shaven. Because it doesn't make sense that you would be then having all the males basically with some beards, right? Thinking that they should be adding a bit more of those. Maybe they're gonna be there in the full game, who knows. Probably a bit too feminine. This one is kind of cool. But there again, I'm just having a problem that I've chosen not to be going with beard. And there's like nobody to choose, really. And we are not entirely all this race, so... Tough choice. Tough choice. Yeah, well, classic. <laughs> Looking at this point, already 45 minutes creating character, but that's DD for you. All kinds of RPGs like these, because you're gonna be living with the character for the rest of the game, right? So it needs to be something that you are going to be fine with. Yeah, so maybe this guy. Possibly. Maybe that one. This one is a bit interesting, but it just looks like a straight elf, right? I don't know, let's go for example with this one. Okay, so classic black cadder. Can be having suggestion. Okay, let's go. Gunleif, Edward, Coraldur, Oscar. I 
Okay. So if you had problems figuring out how you want to be called. Hmm. Yeah. It's nice to be needed. Why not? What? Where's a will? There's a what? <laughs> Yes. Man, that's haughty. I'm not going to like this, am I? I don't see why not. My skills are at your disposal. Jesus Christ, that that's like that's ego dripping from that, like literally dripping in liters. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. It's nice to be needed. Why not? Ah, let's go with this one. I guess all right. Let's probably take a screenshot of that. Let's finally get into the game. Real are immune to the negative secondary effects of drugs. Go wild, but not too wild. The gods are watching. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, why didn't I look here first? And more to the point, why must I come fetch you for every little thing? Uh, so was I supposed to be doing something? Ugh, you do know this is the day the Lords of Isselbright are visiting? You are simply the laziest... Never mind. Ah, uh, I guess guilty as charged. The Lords are already here and waiting to be served. And for goodness sake, don't forget to gather your things from your chest before you come to table. Ah, uh, I'll try not to forget. If I can locate my chest, that is. You have received a quest to inspect the objectives uh, during the quest operations button. Okay. Yeah, let's go kind of like even through the tutorial, of course, not to be getting acquainted with it all. Uh, right from an important conference at my lord's estate, I was given the duty of serving drinks throughout the evening. I really should not mess this up. Uh, so why am I supposed to be getting all the things from my chest <laughs> if I'm gonna be serving drinks? The whole day was rushed since the lords and ladies arrived. Uh, I should get inside before I get into trouble with my lord. I need to report to Berlin in the meeting room. I might also want to collect my things from my chest before doing that, so I guess you're gonna be going somewhere. Personal notes in the journal. Okay. So effectively something that we old schools are used to putting on actual paper, right beside us. Can read about the words lore by navigating through compendium lab or the tab. Locations, creatures, people and events. Yeah, okay, so that's a classic lore book. So what's our backstory so that we know why they are gonna be treating us the way they are do. And Will. Not much know about me really, here's to what little I could gather. I'm an orphan, my mother having died when I was a but a small child and my father's identity unknown. After my mother's passing, Lord Espen graciously accepted me as a member of his estate in the hinterlands of the kingdom, years before I could be useful as a servant. When I was old enough, I was set to stripping sheets from beds, clearing tables after meals and other simple tasks. Later, I would be trusted with more responsibility, seeing to the needs of our guests, delivering messages, etc. Though I used to complain of such things when I was younger, I see now that I've had an easy life here. Lord Espen has always been kind to me, and more generous than a child should expect in this world. Once I showed some aptitude, he even provided schooling for me. This sort of boon is for a servant unheard of. We are typically expected to work for our keep and nothing else, at least until adulthood. If 
known Berlin for most of my life and as close to family as I'll ever get. So Berlin has been part of my life on the Espinal estate for as long as I can remember. She was only a child herself when she arrived, not long before I did. I've always looked up to her, asked her help with every little thing and buried my face in her skirts when I was sad or afraid. She's as close to a mother figure as an orphan is likely to get. Despite her size, Berlin's always had a commanding, but not arrogant, way about her. The other servants would sometimes call her the little duchess, after carefully scanning about to ensure she wasn't within earshot, of course. I used to resent Berlin looking over my shoulder and overseeing me at my chores, but I eventually came to realize she was looking out for me. If she wasn't too strict, uh, so strict all the time, I might even call her a friend. So is he like mother figure or a friend? Those two things are a bit different. And Lord Espen, so let me at least know what we're gonna be getting into in some first conversations. It's better not to be skipping those things. So Lord Espen has been my master all my life. He is well respected both by our neighbors and his noble peers, and is an important figure in the King's Court in Silbright, to which he is regularly called to bend Veliandric's ear. The Espen estate is a happy place, and the man himself strict but fair. He is always generous with the servants, granting them trifling requests and ensuring the sick and injured are careful. No one ever goes hungry, and he never uses the whip to enforce his words, never has need of it as far as I know. I've often felt the old man likes me a bit better than the other servants. If there's some treat to be shared out or hand-me-down clothes uh, going around, I'm always at the front of the line. He even gets me a small gift on my birthday, which never fails to earn the enmity of others. Okay, so we are some kind of favorite stepchild, approximately, or something like that. Huh. <laughs> that's that's curious. It's basically how much you're gonna be asking for payment for quests, I guess. Uh huh. And maybe stealing from all kinds of cabinets and whatever, which I usually don't do. Classic reputation, fame, and something happens if you get to a thousand. The curse of greed currently affects the world of Yerengal faintly. It can barely be felt, but those with a keen sense might start to feel its effect. Because of living are on the rise throughout Yerengal, it's like a real world, and albeit ever so slightly, some can feel the winds of change. No, that's gonna be something on line with that. Look at that. Okay, let's maybe get a bit further. I'll do it. I stand with the king. What's your tone, boy? I represent the authority of King Veliandric, just ruler of Isilmerald. Isilmerald, sorry. Can we interact with a cat? Nah. She's gonna be straight ignoring you. Oh dear Snifra, your eyes are like the pristine waters flowing in this fountain. Really clear and wet. <laughs> That's a nice continuation. Your shining looks reminiscent of clouds shining in the sky up there, above us. Oh, some kind of poet here. Thank you, Sir Gavalon. Your compliments were my heart, I think. Oh, Nifra, there isn't a lass on this whole estate whose beauty compares with yours. Or uh, maybe the country. Yeah, I mean, in the whole country. That's very kind of you to say, Sir Gavalon. Your self confidence is impressive. Listen, my fine Nifra, when I return to the great city of Isilbright, will you accompany me? I vow to treat you like the lady you were never born to be. <laughs> Seriously, what is your answer? Quite nice backhanded <laughs> insults in there everywhere. Kind Sir Gavalon, my heart aches to give such an answer, but I'm not ready to marry anyone just yet. Please understand, I simply stepped away from my chores for a moment to catch my breath and stare at the fountain. No, he's apparently quite a bit hasty. 
Now I must lead him to work. I'll go wherever I'm needed. Okay. I'm Shisha's here, it seems like. But I'm to this plague is even in this realm. <laughs> Some court magician or court, who knows? Up, please. Stand aside! That's almost like stand aside, citizen. You're distracting me from my shanting. Seems quite a bit annoyed. Hurry it up, please. Please. <laughs> That's good. That's actually legit good. And it seems like so far I'm having a thinking and feeling that mages are quite a bit in insufferable in this realm. So hopefully we're not gonna be one of them. statue. Okay, that's probably the room we are supposed to be going to, right? Yep. So I guess let's try to find our room. Can you highlight containers? Somewhat. Say that I will be seeing that. So probably not. Probably not. So you have to be pixel hunting, I guess. It's maybe something that could be edit, I imagine. I'll go wherever I'm needed. Yeah, I'm not gonna be taking anything. I'm. I used to be doing that when I was younger, just kind of like taking everything that wasn't nailed down. But ever since then, I've started playing RPGs a bit more. As I'll be liking to be representing myself a bit more, so having more enjoyment, kind of breaking the fourth wall a bit. So therefore, not really gonna be stealing anything. Just maybe looking what's there. Uh, I didn't identified actually bracelet here. Can be getting probably some interesting loot. Unless this is actually all ours. How do you tell what's your room? Because she was telling me that you need to be picking up things from our chest. But how the hell am I supposed to be knowing what's my room? Ah, maybe this way. Kitchen, butler, my... Ah, okay. So this way. Through the map. Named characters. Supposed to talk to. Blackheader, can you see this? For the love of Alnarius, how hard could it be to straighten this rack properly? I just don't know what to do with Beth. <laughs> ah, who am I even talking to? You've always been the other and never do well at the house. Weren't you supposed to be serving drinks for the lords by now? Yeah, I guess so. Ah, Bergen persuasion. It's apparently already working. I'm not entirely intent on kind of just like lying for her. So I would be fine if there was an option, like the first one, that would be so harsh with her. But the other? 
Uh, bargain, persuasion, that's kind of like maybe a bit invoking in me that it's a lie and I'm not liking that. <laughs> oh, it's being a little simple minded. Oh, wait, can we apparently go in that way? Ah, uh, I kind of want to be kind to her, so fortunately, it's the only option. We'll be liking one extra option here without the addendum there, but nonetheless. How valiant you are! I'm sorry you are right, I've been a little bit hard on her. I just asked both of you to your work well. Reward, please. Hello. And she, no, and she's gonna be scolding me as well. Yeah, next time I'm sure going to be speaking up for you. Of course. Okay, so that was an act of kindness for nothing. Hmm. <laughs> Random emerald and some belt unidentified. Otherwise, so far the performance seems to be looking alright on my rig. I'm having i5 3540, 3.4 GHz quad core, 8 gigs RAM, and for a graphics card, I'm having uh, Radeon HD 7900, 3GB, it's a bit older, but still pretty solid. Sometimes there are a bit weird spikes on GPU, which are a bit concerning me maybe, because I'm playing on the lowest details, but I wouldn't be expecting to be having 100% GPU at this point of 70%, which still seems a bit high. On my way. And I, when I was having Steam overlay for FPS, I was having constant 60 effectively, so I'm not sure what that's all about. But overall the game seems to be working alright. Hopefully it's not stuttering on stream. I have seen something like that on during the testing, so hopefully it's not something that will be happening now. This was my room, right? And apparently it doesn't pause on the map, okay, that's good to know. No, you can be also looking at the whole world, which apparently cannot be a zoomed out, which something cannot be like in if it was possible. Mountains, shoreline, volcano. It seems like a pretty large world. Seems like there's gonna be plenty of places where we're gonna be going, possibly in the full game. Some big city we don't know the name of. Okay. That seems like the place to be. Uh, we were supposed to be picking things up from our chest, but where is our chest? There is no chest in our room. Oh right, I'm in the wrong room. Uh huh? I think that's that one, but it's actually the one to the right. But we have in a huge room then. Yeah, so that's the chest. Okay, so now it's fine. <laughs> I was in the wrong one. So these are supposed to be our things. Uh, okay, so let's get all of it. Take all, take uncommon. Oh, that's interesting. Inventory, pretty much the same as Pills of Eternity. I cannot say that I like that inventory system there. I really much more enjoyed the one in Baldur's Gate, but the difference is kind of like little. Depends how it's gonna be stacking and what kind of inventory items you're gonna be needing, like bag of holding or whatever. So it's just getting used to it, but I don't know, just for some reason it kind of never really stuck with me. But I guess that's just a personal preference. 
Scholar stick. Yeah, it's going off the screen. That shouldn't be happening as well. That's potentially something to adjust. So that it doesn't go off. Plus one to focus, learning and research. Sure, we are having specialty in staves, so that's what you're gonna be picking up. And ropes are what? Classic ropes. Stabbing, slashing, heat, cold, resistance, plus intelligence even. And grand severing sparkle once per day. Spell apparently. And weight allowance. Okay. No, at least that's gonna be. That is, in my opinion, an improvement above pillars. In pillars, you will have an effectively infinite inventory. There wasn't the weight. Whereas here, that's. I think that's good. It's gonna be a bit more. You need to be thinking about what to pick up. I can add a bit more, maybe. Fusion of berry juice. Okay, so healing potion. Could be probably highlighting where the things can be actually going in the inventory, but that's a very small thing. They're just something that you I'll see in modern games a lot, just to ease it on the players. But I guess that whoever is going to be playing this game is knowing what to do and when. So I guess it's not probably not too much needed. Shrooms. Okay, and there are some statistics for the brewing or the alchemy. Minimum heat level. Oh. Hmm, seems like that alchemy is maybe going to be... A bit more complicated than it often is in these games. We'll see. Are we supposed to be picking up there for Hello. some drinks somewhere or. I guess let's speak to Berlin. He's probably gonna be putting us Hello. up to something. At last. Ugh, don't go twisting an ankle in all your hurry. <laughs> you take care of the drinks. Lord Wolcraft and Lady Larenthal prefer wine. Lord Joran would like ale. Lady Virilin and Lord Espen want mead. Go! Jesus Christ, and I'm supposed to be remembering that with my memory. Okay, so there goes the paper. It's probably gonna be listed somewhere, but in case not. Lady Volcroft and Larenthal on twine. Joran would like hail. And Lady Virelin and Span. Okay. They want meat. Cool. Holds plenty of spells and riches, all of them you may find in containers, various suits may highlight all visible containers around your character by pressing tab. Oh, so it is there. It just wasn't, at least I didn't see it. Ah, so through tab, not through alt, and was I totally blind, not seeing it in the controls? Nope, I wasn't. So it's something that cannot be changed, so therefore it's not even mentioned. Okay, so it's through tap. I'm, I'm more used to alt, frankly. But I guess tap is gonna be fine as well. That seems like the place to be.
Mm -hmm. So I was, <laughs> I was apparently getting a bit ahead of myself instead of continue with how I was supposed to be continuing. Sure, we have already figured all of that out. She's the closest, so let's... Uh, oh, the carriage was quite stuffy, and my throat is sorely parched. Lady Virelin, so you wanted... meat. Just what I wanted for a change. Hello there. Ah, the staff. I was starting to wonder if you'd all fallen ill with the plague or something. <laughs> Warcraft once. Wait a second, wasn't that like Lady Volcroft? No, nonetheless, Volcroft wants wine, at least as far as I know. Huh. Yeah, I, th I think that might have been Lady, maybe I just confused it. Nonetheless. Served, got her drink. Okay, so that's all it's noted at least here. But yeah, it's a good idea to sometimes actually to note it, because sometimes developers are a bit funny and they want you to really remember it, which it's not entirely out of the question, it's kind of an interesting twist. You need to be remembering really something, putting importance into your, your paying attention to the game, actually. Hello? Well? Lord Joran, you want... ale? You know this is supposed to be served at room temperature. No, of course you don't. I mean, like, it was standing here for quite some time, so I guess it shouldn't be too cold. And he only wants ale that is at the room temperature? That's wrong. Hmm? Yes, yes, get on with it. Lady Larenthal, she wants wine. I suppose you expect me to toss you a coin for doing your job. Yeah, you are so damn nice. Hello. You're here, finally. Ah, good. Shall we do business, gentlemen? Gentle ladies? Yes, let's. We are convened to discuss the situation with Deron Gould. What has been rumored and suspected for so long has finally come to pass. A council of nobles with mining interests in the town have declared themselves independent from the crown of Isilmarad. I don't like this dirty business. Sending a list of grievances to the king. Sounds more like the actions of a bunch of uppity peasant farmers than nobility. There are ways these things are done. And there are ways that kingdoms may crumble. I understand your feelings on the matter, Lady Larenthal, but Darren Gould enjoys the sympathies of many important persons here in the North, and I number myself among them. What's more, there have already been defections among the Azimeril nobility, most recently Aldnar. She speaks of your son, Lord Espen, who chose to forsake his birthright to join the rebels. Ah, yes. Thank you, Lady Larenthal, for reminding me. And I'll thank you, Lady Virulin, not to speak his name on this estate, nor in my hearing again. Oh, why, I will... <laughs> but you won't. Whatever the loyalties of uh, the young Lord of House Espen, the Southern nobles have many legitimate complaints. Heavy, some say ruinous taxation, Delayed shipments thanks to the Crown's regime of inspections and checkpoints. The King's insistence that Deron Gould's military, e even the Town Watch, must be trained in the North. It's quite a list. Yes, it's all very sad. I'm sure they toss and turn the night away on their beds of gold bars. Taxation and bureaucracy are simply the facts of managing a prosperous nation, of keeping our enemies at arm's length. 
How long would their precious minds keep producing without the king's protection? Did you know, I heard this rebellion was prompted in part by a belief making the rounds in Deron Gould that the king himself is cursed. Hmm. <laughs> oh my! What exceptional nonsense! <laughs> Have they been breathing the fumes of their own minds? All right, very amusing. But like Lady Varellen, I am not unsympathetic to our southern friends. Surely some of Isilbright's rules and dictums could be culled, especially if it means avoiding war, a much more costly proposition than losing a handful of coin in taxes. Wise counsel, my friend, but I fear the time for compromise is already past. The message from Daron Good was deliberately provocative leaving the king no way to negotiate or save face. The time has come, lords and ladies, for us to commit our forces and our purses to our rightful liege and crush Daron Gould. Or throw in with the rebels. They have the gold, they have a well-trained army, and most importantly, they control the mines. In a conflict of any significant length, having control of the source of the kingdom's metals means they must only outlast the North, rather than outright defeat her. You there. What is your opinion on recent developments? Oh, me like I barely know enough about the world to be weighing in right now. You're asking the errand boy? What does... Kindly do not interrupt me while sitting at my table, Lady Larenfall. Well, speak up. Okay, so we get that we have some rebels that actually control the money-making business effectively. No, but we have no idea actually what exactly is going and why. Son of this guy has joined the rebellion and Espen is unhappy about it, so I think he's a loyalist. And he's therefore gonna be expecting us to be one as well. If we probably gonna be saying that we should join the rebellion, he's probably gonna be throwing us out therefore. I mean like if the point of contention is money, therefore trade, then war is usually not the best solution. Yes, we do know that today. That's why he has such a kind of like a long piece in the Western world, let's say. Because it's better to be making money through business than losing it through wars. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, well, rebellions always gonna need to be usually crushed, especially in some feudal setting. Otherwise, it's a precedence, exactly. No, oh, it's kind of like a bailing out the last one, but usually when. A lord like asks you then he's looking for your opinion he's not looking for I don't know it's a bit disrespectful at that point I guess let's go for the peaceful solution very noble of you I agree that the value of gold must be held cheap against the value of doing the honorable thing My ladies, my lords, we are under attack. Please, take shelter at once. Perhaps the cellar. You may wish to arm yourselves, my lords. They make no secret of their allegiance. They fly the banners of their own gold. Uh, okay, so it came to us a bit faster. Maybe then we didn't had to be resulting, or the resolving what to do. One was far at the back. All I could see of him was his vibrant red hair like a flame. Oh, no. Too little, I'm afraid. Their numbers are overwhelming. We were forced to fall back to the main gate, and they're already. Surely they will listen to reason, wherever they're from. No, I wouldn't be thinking so at this point. They won't kill us out of hand like so many soldiers. They wouldn't dare. Right? 
calmly, my friends. Let's all go out to meet them. They're not bandits after all. Yes, go ahead. You have my blessing to speak on my behalf if it's of any use. <laughs> yes, go kill yourself there. I'm just gonna be staying here, please. <laughs> you? What? Where are you going? Come with me. Make haste. I'll go wherever I'm needed. You and you lot with me. Uh, what is it, my lord? That sound? The main gate has already been breached. The House of Espen is about to fall to the agents of their own gold. Now, never mind that. Just follow. And you, you've always been a first-rate skulker at key halls. Yes, your weird hobbies are no secret <laughs> to me. Best not face armed soldiers head on. But do what you can. Let's dance. Okay, so is stuff going to be like a classic melee weapon? Yeah, I think it is. You command attack in blah blah blah. You can also attack both hostile and non-hostile creatures by clicking on the sword. Okay. Should we unleash in spells? Question is if there's gonna be some area of effect for the snow. A sense of cold and throw it at someone you don't like. <laughs> to do target or impact. Okay, so it's not like area of damage that should be safe. And hopefully there's not gonna be any kind of like if anybody's gonna be in the way receiving it into the face. Oh, that's a mage, maybe we should make sure you take it on or the him on. Whoa! Okay, one shot, one kill. Ouch. On my way. You're almost dead, right? Yeah. One out of eleven. Okay, there are more. Okay, so we need to be drinking. Alright, you're gonna be switching over it. Okay. So that skills here can be apparently get the uh, traps found out. This is right now switch of weapon in case you were actually having more of them. It's a bit interesting they are targeting us. I'm not sure if it's gonna be because we are a mage or simply because we are a player character. God is done with your life. Come with me. Now listen to me. Listen closely. This is important. The Lady Espen was the love of my life. My one love. There was nothing arranged about our betrothal. And that's important. Why? <laughs> Second is a bit brash, but I'm having the same kind of thought about it, so I guess the first one is a bit more nice, let's say. And my lord, it sounds like the fight is coming to us, but we best ready ourselves. Be quiet, I tell you. You never saw her yourself. Not that you'd remember, but if you had, she... Gods damn these Derongold swine. 
Behind me is my dressing chamber. Go fetch my sword from there. Uh, Kilberts would serve better than a sword right now. No, I wouldn't necessarily think so. When you're already under siege, effectively. Ready to fight? Fit your, <laughs> fit your own sword. Um, soldier press, I will be spared if I surrender at once my lot. Um, I guess let's. That seems like the place to be. What? Oh man, he's just gonna save my life like that. Found you at last, father. Didn't figure you would try and hide from your fate. He looks absolutely 100% sane on the picture. To be betrayed by my own son. Who wouldn't hide from such a terrible end? I've learned a few things, you see. Things your priests and men-at-arms could never teach. I have gained a new perspective. Seen the truth of this world. So, you were not even paid in coin to turn traitor against your own house. Only pretty words. Kill me if you wish. But I promise it will avail you nothing. Every man pays for his sins, my son. And the price of a sin such as this... Well... Enough of your piety! It sickens me. But your last decision, at least, is the correct one. Hold still, father. Don't worry, my child. Your hardships are over for today. Mm. Was that his wife? <laughs> no, the crown's cottage, so I'm kind of guessing not. <laughs> it probably wasn't his wife. What? What? Does this look like Rothgar's realm to you? You're in my hut. No, oh, yes, but exactly like No, probably the last one is a bit interesting, I guess. I brought you here. But no more questions for tonight. There's a cot over there. You should try to get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow will be a very, very long day. Okay, long rest button. Resting will replenish some of your character's health, restore spell and ability uses. Beware, though, sleeping out in the wilds comes with the risk of attracting the beasts and rough faces of the area. Seeking out and sleeping at inns is a safer and more comfortable option. Okay. I just wanted to be potentially bringing up the voices a bit more. He seems to be a bit subdued. Let's put it at 100. Let's see if it's gonna be helping enough. I'll do it. Quick save, save. So let's quick save first and foremost. Just in case something happened, fast mode, settings, okay. And this is to life. What else actually do we have here? Inventory, sure, spellbook. Map, okay, what's the spellbook looking like? Uh, okay, so can we have actually four of them in total? And favorites. Okay, so they can be. No, we'll see. Uh, that's gonna be like hotkeys, maybe. I guess. Hmm. 
Map, operations, show, party sheet, character sheet. Right. 200 XP already. Apparently, that's something to be looking at the world map where you actually are. Hidden cabin. Oh, we are very far away from Espen State. Yeah, we probably can yeah, like moved into the town or kind of forced to go into the town sometimes soon it seems like. Wake up, lazy. Always sleeping this one. Must have been raised by dream race. I mean like you just told me to sleep. You should be making up your mind to crazy lady. <laughs> I was raised by oh no, he's dead. Impure <laughs> my work ethic on sleeping. <laughs> At least they're having kind of good sense of humor so far with the game. And it's geared because sometimes you're gonna be seeing people or people kind of designers kind of forcing the humor in. So far, it's kind of fine. What the hell are dream wraiths? Oh, well, I'd rather not explain. You'd rather not know. You'll find out later if you do what you should, anyway. Speaking of which. Now, how about you make yourself useful and weed the garden? So you just kind of like gotten yourself a slave, or what's the story here? Nah, given, but I will be lacking some answers. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> Let's go to more sleep. Yeah, hold on. Very well, ask your questions, but be warned, I can guarantee you the answers you're hoping for. But you better be answering how the hell did you even get me here and why the hell did you do that? How did I end up here, really? Let's gonna begin with that. Well, if you must know, you were about to die, so I whisked you away to my little hide hideaway in the forest. And would you believe it? Now you're not about to die. I guess, thanks. So who are you? Just an old witch who likes her privacy. And before you ask, no, I don't intend on turning you into fox. So... Did you somehow connect with Lord Espen? I guess she was. Yes, yes. After a man of speaking, I knew him. A good man, but a bad father. Get that look of your face. His son, his own son killed him. He can't have been much of a patriarch. No, you can't just be having a crazy son, right? Nothing too much... Nothing much to be done about that then, at that point. No, I guess let's therefore get to garden, even though I'll be liking a bit more to know what kind of like happened to my father, another question. Or leash rather, not father. It's, I'm thinking that's gonna be something coming with that, similar to Kingdom Come Deliverance. That's what I like to hear. Now, I'll be making a stew this evening. You'll be helping. I'll need you to go find some things for us. Take a look at this list. Once you've read it, let me know, please. Gather the following handful of bruise root, one brown stem mushroom, and slab of fox meat. Okay. Oh, good, good. You know how to read. <laughs> I have something that will help you gather what we need without hurting yourself too much. Here, put these on. We're given an item with special abilities. When more such items may modify or characters attribute skills or even grant them entirely new spells and abilities. I was just kind of looking if uh, you're gonna be getting something, even if it's not identified. Brewing and drying plus 10%. Okay. Maybe the voices are a bit too high now. So let's go somewhere to like 90. Good. You put your gloves on just like the rest of us. All <laughs> fingers at the same time. You weren't trying to put them on one finger at a time, were you? Good, good. Now off with you. 
When you've got everything on the list, come back and I'll get to making that stew. By the way, be careful of the creatures in the forest. They can be a bit bitey. Take this stuff as well. It should come handy should you need to protect yourself. Yeah, I guess that's if we didn't exactly go into the chest, I imagine. Okay, let's maybe show it a bit better. So, is it better or not? It's cheaper. Better damage. But it doesn't give us focus. It does give critical chance. But only 1%, which is, I guess, useless. And doesn't give learning and research. Yeah, you can keep that old lady. I'll go wherever I'm needed. Okay. I'll do it. Oh, that's <laughs> that's quite a bit trippy. I think it's probably gonna be looking a bit better if you're gonna be on high details. So that's maybe something I'm gonna be testing off stream, but with streaming it's basically not all that much possible for me with my computer, but nonetheless. What's that? Moon glider? It's an insect. We don't need that, right? What do we need? Bruce root, fox meat and mushroom. Okay, let's probably not collect the other things. Maybe that's a personal flower. And personal insects, I don't know. Some spidey. Can we please get some tooltip for this is? Agatha's will, so that's effectively some. I'll go wherever I'm needed. Another you know, insect, firefly. That's what I was looking for. On the bottom left of your screen, above your character's portrait, you can see a set of quick slots. Okay, perform various actions. You can all the attacks and movement. Use your character's various skills and consumable items. Spellcasters' characters will also find their memorized spells among the quick slots. Try using offensive spell or an equipped weapon against a fox wandering in the area. You can be murdering foxes. Okay, so spiders are apparently enemies. Of course. No, that fight didn't go too well. And we are still poisoned? No, we aren't, but we are having two hit points. <laughs> Uh, we are on the kind of dead department here, slightly. So I guess we're gonna be soon testing load. Brown stem mushroom, that's the correct one, right? Yep. quick we can even get the pelt from that okay so we do have the meat and right now we're missing the last one that was seriously my memory is awesome for this short term bruise root on my way Oh, 
Oh no 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 no. No 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 no. I'd rather not go there. With two hit points. Wondering if those scarians are gonna be attacking us. That seems like the place to be. Seems like that foxes are not inherently aggressive. Oh well, but one had to be dying, unfortunately, for our dinner. So, like, where the hell is the Bruisewit thing? Old Stum, con uh huh. And even things like these here on the minimap signified. I'll go wherever I'm needed. Does it the stam? That was probably only because of the mushrooms, then it seems. Hmm, seems so. Nothing special from that. No, what's up with the Bruce Ruth then? Or is that maybe something that I'll she has it. in her can here? She's having healing potions and antidote, I guess. She having that somewhere inside? Because I haven't exactly seen anything like that outside, unless it was in the right corner. I'll do it. It's actually a named cat, right? Yep, Rux. Light leather. Then you have something here. <laughs> Powder of annoyance. No, she's definitely... We do know how she makes that. She kind of like just pulls it out of her skin or whatever. Fusion of berry juice recipe. Can I be able to make your own potion? Something like in which I guess then. No, that means that we are therefore missing that one thing, it's still. So I guess let's go back out then. Has to be somewhere there. I'll do it. Conspicuous bush. Maybe that is what we are supposed to be looking at. This one, probably. Which means if the spiders will be aggressive again. Yeah, they are auto aggro. <laughs> exactly as I thought. No, okay, so that's gonna be a test of the reloading. I'll do it. So 
so I guess you have to be right now doing the classic tactic before they even aggro kill them. He just aggro in the other one, but you should be having enough time. Nice. No, that's it. Good. So it's signified on the map, but to be honest, I'm thinking I would be liking it a bit better if it was more obvious, even just without looking into the minimap, what you are supposed to be looking at. Okay, it would be making some better sense if simply it was shining as a flower or the, the bruise root and not like some random brush and shrub. But I guess maybe it's on purpose so that you are gonna be taught to be looking into the map for the details and whatever like that. Maybe it's gonna be all connected. Most useful and sought after ingredients by alchemists and herbalists of all sorts. The roots of this plant contain a brown sap with remarkable properties. Bruce root can both heal wounds and enhance them depending on how it is applied. And apparently it's gonna be day. I'll go wherever I'm needed. Oh. That is significantly changing how it actually looks right about now the flower. Feeling well. Mm, not so much. Only two HP. Ah, the hero returns and with a fresh harvest. It's all there, yes. Perfect. No, I guess if she can be whisking us, away, whisking us away half the world, I guess it should be a given that she actually knows what we are having with us. So let's not play completely complete dumbo here. <laughs> Is there some sort of reward? Yeah, that's how you're gonna be increasing the in the greed meter. Now that I've gotten what you need, I have more questions about what's going on here, please. No, no, let's get the pot boiling first and then... What? What's this? Did you forget to make these herbs edible, child? Come now, you must try them to bring out the flavor. Uh -huh. Surely you've cooked before. I have to wonder what that Lord Espen even had your tutors teach you at his fancy estate. Oh, <laughs> oh well, take this candle and get to drying. Then crush the dried herbs into powder, so we have something to season the stew with. Okay, various materials collected in the world may serve as ingredients for crafting. Plants, mushrooms, fruits and insects can be brewed into potions, or dried and crushed into powder. Besides the fresh materials, you need tools to perform these actions. Cauldron for brewing and a heat source like candles or a lantern for drying. Hmm. Take the candle, get to dry it, and then crush into a powder. Okay. So below the drying tab, you can see your collection of ingredients and heating devices. To switch between the two, okay. You can click on these items and move them to the appropriate slots on the drying panel below. You can dry up to three ingredients at the same time with the heating device. Once you have placed the heating device and at least one dryable ingredient on the panel, you can start the process. Okay. Do you need to be putting the two there? Yeah, shift and click is dividing those. Just in case so that we don't waste all of it, I imagine. And she wanted to dry what? The bruise root or even the mushrooms? I haven't exactly noticed. Wants me to dry bruise root and brown stem mushroom. Okay, both of them. I crush them into powder. Good. I'm kind of tempted still to be taking it and dragging it to the bottom instead of just clicking it and going there. Not sure why, but <laughs> simply how it is.
Okay, so I guess when this is going, you can therefore do something else during it. Or did we not start it therefore? I think we did. Ah, you need long rest to complete the process. Okay. To begin try, you first need to open your inventory. Or are we supposed to be putting both of them there? Nah, no, it shouldn't matter. I did click into it, right? It's already right, but I clicked in. Okay, it's right. Good. Yeah, so you need to be sleeping then to be making that happen. And it's gonna be taking the whole candle, okay? The whole ingredient. Yeah, oh, kind of like heat source rather. And you need to be crushing also with... No. Start crushing. All right, good. Is a bit confused in there. Which I probably didn't read it properly the first time that it's actually start crushing instead of start drying. Which I, but I guess it was probably it. Like, oh right, right into the inventory. Okay, so that's actually, it's changing when you put the dried flowers there or plants, it's gonna be changing into crushing, okay. I'll do it. Good, good, well and dried, give me just a moment and... There, it's on the fire. Now we have a few precious moments to spare. We should talk. Talking. What? Hmm, okay, some special actually options here. Trying to teach me something. No, that's a quite a bit of a clear one. It's never enough time, and our time will be better served by discussing matters of import. Very good. I think you already have the hang of it, but in case that was a fluke, the idea is this. Taking the time and effort to gain knowledge, or even learning to talk, will benefit you greatly in the difficult times ahead, because attention to what you might uncover in conversations through wit or charm. I guess thanks, but for the obvious, I'm glad you found it to be. Now, I'm certain you have more questions, perhaps I can continue being instructive. So yeah, let's kinda go into the real thing. Why did you save me from the assault on Espen estate? I kept an eye on Lord Espen. He was a force of balance in Isilmeralt. His death means that balance has failed. And it so happens that I have a soft spot for young people of potential. You were in, a ro in the wrong place at the right time, and I saw a chance to aid you. So why are you really? I'm afraid that is the one question I can answer for you. 
It's easiest to say that I am someone who you were meant to meet. I'm here to set you on your way toward what you must accomplish. No, so what is it that I must accomplish? I don't mean I misspoke. <laughs> there are two questions I cannot answer for you. <laughs> right. Uh, so why is it that you're keeping me here then and making me do all of this? You weren't ready for Aldnar's attack on his father's manor, and I don't believe you were ready for the chaos of the world as it was when I pulled you from it. You're here to keep you safe, and to make sure that you're ready for the next calamity you find yourself in. So I guess, am I ready? Probably not, so I guess mm, we'll be liking to ask probably something different, like where, to, where we go from now instead of can I leave yet, or is this you almost ready? So, can I leave yet? No, no, not quite yet. Let's have a glance at this view, though, shall we? Ah, yes, yes, almost ready indeed. Now, there's something you should know. It's gonna poison me. When you leave here, the world you knew yesterday will be gone. We kind of figured. Okay, go on. The attack on the Espin estate was only the first spark of a consuming fire, I am afraid. Much will be lost to strife and war. There are worse things than war, though. There is something you must understand before you leave here. A great and terrible curse has fallen over Isilmerald and much of the rest of Yerengal. It drives men and women to madness. It starves the prince and turns the pauper to a life of desperation. It is the essence of avarice itself. A curse of greed spreads through the land. Yes, yeah, so there's going to be an explanation why there's that greed meter. Mm, well, it's kind of like both, curse and wise, but I guess this is supposed to be meaning that it's not supernatural, but it's just normal. Yes, yes, ordinarily you would be right. But this is no normal greed, no. There is magic behind it, no mere apprentice's catch-up either. It is most dangerous, and you must understand that. Ah, the stew is done now. Just let it cool. Ah, getting a good look at you now. You're a bit of a magician, aren't you? No, a bit. I feel damn greatly feared and respected. <laughs> uh, like, not magic. I know I can't report you. A fair assessment of your abilities. Yes, yes. You have much to learn. Let's get you started here. Take this. It is a scroll containing a spell for you to learn. Give it a read. Okay. Fever. Spell sends a spell induced fever to attack its target, causing a sense of intense heat engulfing its body. It inflicts weakness, throbbing, and toasting on the target. Toasting. Very good. I see the look of recognition in your eyes. You know a new spell. You must learn as many as you can. I say this with care. Magic will keep you alive, but may also hold unforeseen dangers. Now. There's the trap in the room. They're ready to give you a little scare if you aren't careful. Go see if you can find and disarm it. No time's to waste. Seems like that we actually stuck somewhat on that drying screen. Seems to be some kind of a bug. Even though we already have done that. Okay, so that's supposed to be a trap. We do have the special skill for that. Oh, that's like only disarming, uh huh? It's not like finding it. I'll go wherever I'm needed. Okay, there's a trap. Very good. The freezing enchantment on the trap was about a mere nuisance, other devices like it may not be as gentle. As a wizard, you'll be running across many peculiar things on your journeys. Some will mean your harm, but you have the senses to spot them in time. 
Huh? But what was it that we... Oh, yes. Aha, uh -huh, we've done it. The stew is cooked and cooled. Here, boy, this will warm you up after a long, long day. I see that look in your eye again. No, no more questions for today. Eat your stew and get some rest. All right. How's the spell book we? Can we please somewhat get rid of this? I guess not. So we have fever, but is it really that helpful? I'm kind of liking to be having effectively magic missiles a whole lot more. Still kind of like looking to learn what's the elevated energy all about. That's like, I don't know, some high level spell or what it's supposed to be meaning. Good morning. I fear that our time together is nearing an end. Is it? What a shame. I still don't understand what we have been doing here. Now she has been our tutorial, but... I guess thank you for all your help. No, no, it's, it is no great thing. I needed to be certain you were ready to face the world. So, does that mean that I'm ready? Oh, yes, yes. As ready as one can be. So, what's going on exactly in the world that I need to be ready for? Oh, conflict is to be expected everywhere you go. Great things are coming. More? I cannot say. No, no. No, well, keep your secrets then. Is that all? Yes, that is the gist of it. Things were put in motion all over Yerengel since I plucked you from your father's house. <laughs> yeah, that's what we kind of expected might be the case. Classic Kingdom Come Deliverance and not only that plot. My father, yes, Lord Espen. Now, I want to explain to you how it happened. You do have an idea how ch children are made. Uh, that can be Travis Miller's servant in his house. I guess, like, by why didn't he tell me? Oh, I cannot say. No, no. He had these reasons, although... As a reason, Lord Espen paid you so much attention. Yeah, that's kind of usually how it is. In those stories, the despite your servitude, the other servants surely did not receive the same education or the same favors. No did anyone else in his house, expecting your half-brother Alnar, or accepting your half-brother Alnar. Uh, that's a bit kind of like melodramatic, considering we just learned we had an actual family here. Mm, I mean, like, both of them are maybe something different, I would be saying. Not sure what, but both, both seem a bit weird. So I guess Alnar took away my only family. He did, and that is the world I must send you back into. One where the sole heir of Lord Espen committed patricide. One unaware, yet hostile to your existence. No, I guess, thank you again for the sage advice then. Let's face the world, I guess. Now we must go face the world. <laughs> yeah, same idea. Go face the world. I have enjoyed our time together. You will find the path clear. Be safe, my child. We have a level. We have a level. We're not gonna be looting her, I guess. Of course. I'm imagining plenty of people will, but we won't. Hmm. So once you're on your character sheet, you can spend points to improve your character's general skills, class skills and weapon skills. You can add or remove points from skills using the arrows to the right of their names on their respective skill tabs. Z characters may also spend points on new spells. Learning research, brewing, drying, I'm lacking the persuasion. Could be having some interesting conversation parts. We wanted to be getting at least one arcane studies here. And I don't know. 
throw weapons, slings. Oh, in D&D, &D, in Baldur's Gate, we usually use slings with a mage. You're gonna be somewhere at the back. We, I probably don't want to be going for too much of a close quarter combat, even with proficiency in staves. So I guess, um, let's go for sling, for example, I guess. Gonna be there for getting some automatic HP increase, it seems. Actually, do we have even hit points? Seems like that you got one and one, or no, that's actually more. That's gonna be from the outer rope and from the stuff. Just looking for the hit points there. 12. That's one more. Yeah, kind of classic with the mage. But it seems to be there for automatic. Your character is capable of learning, memorizing, and casting spells. Spells need to be memorized before they can be cast. Sure, we already figured that out. And spellbook really is B. Managed to remember that. So let's get more there. Elevated energy didn't exactly increase anything, did it? That we put that one point into that skill. Maybe next level. On my way. Okay, it's signifying travel points all across, so classic. I'll Let's do it. see where this one is gonna be there for leading. This is gonna be opening way like it is in Baldur's Gate. Alright, you can be going into all those places. Aha! Uh -huh. Merchant's Road, Isil Bright. Probably not a good idea to be going back home. They're on gold, okay, it's to south the mines, I guess. So let's see if there's gonna be something different if you, for example, go there. Seems to be a bit of a problem with the AI as far as walking. Yeah, sure, right into the spiders. Go wherever I'm needed. Okay, so be careful. But that was certainly looking like that there's a, a kind of problem with the pathfinding, that it's not like 100% capable of finding the correct routes. You're apparently gonna be able to get there. Depends, of course, if maybe the environment is gonna be a bit more complicated, if it's gonna be getting also harder for the character to get somewhere. But nonetheless, you can be just moving yourself, then it's gonna be fine as well, I imagine. Seems like that it's all the same, that it doesn't unlock any kind of new territories, whichever way you're gonna be moving. Or, but do you need to be going the right direction? So right now it's allowing me to go there. Of course. Okay, so let's go south and find out if that is the problem. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. So you need to be going the correct way anyway. So it is that way, but you just didn't have any parts of the map there. And you unlock them the same as in Baldur's Gate. You just need to be going the correct direction. Apparently seems to be getting, or they seem to be getting the one tip all the time. I guess if it's on purpose. Simply not adding too many things. 
or if it's some kind of a bug, or if you're that lucky that you get in one actually advice all the time. I'll do it. Hmm, let's go to the bottom to see if it unlocks another map. Side of the bat. Okay. Mm hmm. This game in barrows. Seems like they don't have any kind of like ops in the large range. So I guess it's good to know. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I tried not yet. Wing. I'll go wherever I'm needed. How much does it actually weigh? Nothing. <laughs> Pretty much weighs nothing. Uh, I'm kind of wondering if I should be starting to collect some ingredients or not. Or uh, only potentially waiting once we actually know what we are looking for. Alright. I'm listening. Go ahead. The sorry sight it is. <laughs> Did they leave any spoils? Go into the heart of the thing, you know, the matter. Do you have some part in this? No. The wars of men are none of mine. Praise the stone. I am Helgenha. Call me Helg, that's too much of a mouthful. Do you know why they were fighting? Is that a serious question? Even a league beneath the Skag Mountains, everyone knows of the war. Oh, uh, well, soldier is a messy business, and I'm glad to have no part of it. Really? Then that seems a bit disingenuous, considering we are already part of the fight, effectively. <laughs> when he came to the sky, everyone knows about the birds. Interesting. Now, the, I mean, like the first one is really disingenuous because we really are part of the war already. And we know about the war. Uh, this one is a bit cheeky. I'm not liking either of the options, to be honest here. We'll be liking some option, like, just to simply continue that, yeah, the war, we know about it. And what actually happened here? Uh, let's try the Prodigy if it leads into something funny. It's not entirely what I would want, but it's close. Don't be so sure, we may all be dragged into this before the end. Anyway, this was one of the smaller battles between Isildbright and Dead and Gould. Since we're on the same road, why don't we walk it together? Yes, I'll be liking somebody to protect me from dangerous, dangerous spiders and wolves and whatever the goblins or whatever it was through the upside. Mm, it's a bit kind of abrupt. Let's see if you can leave. Well, that kind of continue the conversation in a bit more natural manner. Well, I better be off before I end up like one of those corpses. Very well. Oh, that's. Yeah, I'll be looking to potentially have an offer from the dwarf himself. Because it's a bit. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. It's a bit more presumptuous to be asking him to join us, but nonetheless. I uh, guess no questions, or maybe so. I mean, no offense by it, but I don't really have time to talk right now. Now with anyone, I'm not traveling with. Uh, Whatever you say. Yeah, just gonna shoehorn us to hire him. So let's go for it. 
Care to come along with, on, with me on my travels? I think I would. Let's be off then. That's a way to kind of like straightforward way how to get the companion that we probably like him. Of course. But it's kind of like what everybody's gonna be expecting, right? When you're gonna be starting the game, you see something like this. It's just a classic companion grab. So what do I have? I'm listening. You have armor, Kiras, then you do have boots, but otherwise nothing, pretty much just an axe. And a heather shield. Hmm. Mm, probably nothing that you can give him currently. On my way. Yeah. That seems like the place to be. A lot of possible loot, but yeah, I'm not doing that in my playthroughs. I'm not looting everything that is here. This is basically like official business. It will be obviously free to be taking what we want, but I like to be taking things from actual enemies that really we dispatch off. So basically, we're gonna be looting our kills. Price three. Let's collect that. So maybe collect like one of each ingredient you're gonna be finding somewhere. Blade wheat, okay. Shall we try if you're good against go wolves? I go. It's nice need. to be by stealing Why stone. Not? Let's dance. It's nice to be needed. Of course. Why not? I'll I guess he is. Whatever, you, as you say. Even the mightiest fall. Hmm, but you can skin them. Might be helpful somewhere. Maybe it's gonna be useful for either selling or On making some way. stuff from it. Spideys are not just attacking us right over the bat, so we're gonna be leaving them be. What do you mean? You're in charge. Yeah. Go ahead. Taste. When that seems like the place to be. No. Please leave me be. Okay, good. Whatever you say. Bye. Yeah. I'll go wherever I'm needed. Time to problem solve. It's not. I'll do it. That collected both? Yes. Ah. So you do have common collection. That's nice. I'm wondering if they left some kind of like hidden secrets and easter eggs as we had in Baldur's Gate. To be honest, I enjoy that about the game. It's kind of fun to be having some random things placed somewhere. Forest Cobalt. That reminds me of Neverwinter that I might now play as well. Maybe the summer festival. Hmm. Um, you're in charge. Even the mightiest fall. You've got them. Of course. It's nice to be here. We go again. Yeah. Time to problem. Hmm. That seems like the place to be. You've got this coming. Yeah. I'll go wherever I'm needed. Hmm. Fine leather belt increases evasion. Cool. And I guess bullet, yes, it's gonna be stones into sling. The right ash stick. <laughs> More than one laboratory has been ruined by these sticks. 
While alive, they are not particularly dangerous. When dry, they react explosively to friction. Okay. Be extremely cautious with them around open flames, wooden structures and clumsy assistants. Okay, so increasing evasion for the belt, so I guess that's gonna be for Mr. Whatever you say. Helper. Well, there's belt. Hmm. On my way. When I'll do it. It's nice to be needed. Yeah. Hmm. On my way. Um, as you say, by stealing stone. Here we go again. It's nice to be needed. Of course. So right now, looking if uh, when you go into the inventory, you can therefore then drop something back, because otherwise, if you take everything, then it could be just as well insta closing, right? Good day, kind sir. On your way to the Silbright, I warrant, a wise choice given the circumstances. It's been several days since I fled Deron Gould. I was already doubtful of our chances against Isilbright before the War Council decided to make its move. But when the plague struck, I grew certain I was on the wrong side. What plague? How can you not have heard? Have you been living at the bottom of the sea? Deron Gould declared war on Isilbright a few days back and has already gained a foothold in the south of the kingdom. Militarily, it was quite a feat. But a terrible illness began to rage across the city almost immediately thereafter. Citizens had been taken to their beds several weeks before, but no one thought it was serious. Now they've begun taken to their graves, and in the dozens. I took that as a sign to leave town, but don't you go calling me a coward. A merchant has no true home anyway. That's how I look at it, at least. And you know? I managed to bring some of my wares with me from Daron Gould. Care to take a look? Guess. What are you selling exactly? Goods for travelers mostly. I used to deal in weapons too, but that stock I was able to move quickly back in Daron Gould and war was declared. But not to worry, I intend to put out feelers in Isilbright and rebuild my business post haste. Until then, feel free to browse what I have. I'm sure you'll find something to your liking. What you have Gavin. So, how's the trading looking? Rosin Merchants Inventory, you can see their stock on the, or the stock on the left side of the screen. By your selected characters inventory can be seen on the right. You can switch between party member inventories using the drop down on the right, and you can also filter the merchant's stock using the item category buttons on the top left. Try using the all filter to display all items this merchant has. So it probably therefore matters who talks with him, right? As far as the skills for the bear gaining. I imagine. Okay, so all candle, flight arrow, shepherd sling. I like to be playing these RPGs with basically what I find until I'm really forced into it. I usually don't buy things. Out of what? <laughs> Out of stock being named, it's making sense, but I wonder what that's all about. If maybe if you buy something too much and he's not gonna be having any more, it's gonna be here and then he's gonna be restocking in some time. Maybe. Enemy belt costing 20. Okay, so right now we have 25 is the base cost, he's willing to give us 20 for that. Just let's sell one of the animal pelts. Okay.
Oh, did we select like all? F no, one. Okay. Yeah, so that that was the fox spell there for. Huh. And they seem the same, right? Yeah, they seem the same, but these aren't the ones from the wolf. This one is from the fox. No, okay, let's count as the bind and selling that fox. Let's go to fox one back. And therefore sell like two of the wolf pelts. Aha, uh -huh. so they... What? Did they take the single one therefore? I'm gonna be wasting the money, but whatever. Just want to be testing that. Yeah, so in my inventory it's a special one. But if I sell... It's going first for that one because of, I guess, ID. Huh. Weird. They probably should be considered the same. Even though they are from... but they are from different animals, so I imagine that's why they are in the selection screen different. Or... Or... You have stacks of five. That is... that is another thing. You maybe gonna be able to learn that if you have a few more wolves here. That could be the other part of it all. That seems like the place to be. What do you need? Fine. Do you aggro forms? Nope. Doesn't seem they yeah. do. Hmm. But it's spider will. I'll go wherever I'm needed. Let's dance. Go ahead. I go. It's nice to be needed. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's the story. So it wasn't because it was from the fox, it is because Here you are having stacks of yeah. five. You, you're in charge. Oh no, <laughs> on that's my way. What do you need? Yeah. I'll go wherever I'm needed. Go ahead. Nice hit. As you say. Okay, so it's nothing with the ID or anything, it's just simply You are having five at once. It's not that seems like the place to be. Time to problem solve. Of course. You've got this coming. Yeah. I'll go wherever I'm needed. Hmm. Healing and healing potion seems. Yeah, big potion of healing. Can you put something there? Ah, yes you can. Okay, so that's why it doesn't automatically close. That's also another thing solved that you aren't sure about. I wonder if the flowers and the things can be having something different in them sometime. So therefore it would be worthwhile to be checking all of it. Every time. No, this time there's a bruise, bruise root. I'm wondering actually, it seems fairly similar to the other plants that you have actually seen here. Maybe it's just maybe on the low graphics they look a bit too similar, not sure. I'll do it. We're also going to be looking at our boy and potentially his skills. It's nice to be needed. Whatever you say. Hmm. I'm listening. Why not? Having good Go aim ahead. and accuracy and evasion hmm. is having very high. What do you need? It's nice to be needed. Having physic and dexterity 15, then of course. Yeah. Good focus rather at 9, but need? obviously no intelligence. Why not? No supernatural and Go charisma ahead. at 6. Why is he having the animal pelt? Because we are it's overburdened? Nice no. Nope. But he can carry them anyway.
I'll be probably liking some tooltips over those items because it's not entirely all that clearly visible. Well, the pictures actually that are there, so you have to be a bit guessing. I actually wonder if it's supposed to be pixelated as they are the pictures there. I'm currently looking at the helmet, of course, through the top. I guess the healing potion is gonna be for you. Whatever you say. Why not? And you can use the scroll, it seems. Seems like that he can. That it's not only some cleric spell. Hmm. On my way. Let's maybe look through the bodies if there isn't some kind of letter or quest item, for example. I haven't checked for that. Everything seems to be kind of like forcing us towards the town currently, so I guess let's use it. Maybe yeah, it's gonna be some first chapter or something. Again, the strength in the crown's heart. I must now find my own path in the world. She told me that uh, she told me it shall be clear, but I'm not so sure myself. I need someone to tell me where I am. It would be a good start. I'll do it. Okay, so it's only gates into the town and apparently you get that immediately actually explored if it's like non-enemy territory it seems yeah. Stand to there. What's your business in the capital? Not a merchant by the look of it Huh, that's a bit straightforward there looking for work as a mercenary not really Not Let's probably not claim that immediately, I guess. I'm simply a traveler seeking lodging and maybe to spend a few coins in town. Really? And what do you do for a living when you're not traveling? No, just a moment ago I was a servant, so... <laughs> I talk to strangers and take odd jobs where I can find them. I get the berries and seeds for food, drink rainwater and commune with nature. Hmm... Okay. Ah, uh, let's get let's get it straight out then. But it actually I'm not sure if we were like correct correctly directed towards this. 
So I think it was like clearly mentioned that that's what is our personal goal. I think that from what I understood and from how the story developed that maybe our personal goal would be to find out what the hell happened and go into the authorities and maybe seeing how we could help rather than claiming our birthright. That's that's really quite a bit of a steep jump. He just kind of like yesterday learned that he was our father and now we're already rushing. I want that money. I want that money. <laughs> so I'm thinking that's a bit of a shortcut. That maybe can be worked upon. But nonetheless, let's follow with that. You think you're a what? The long lost son of nobleman? Well, I suppose there's no law against being delusional. I, I don't blame them exactly for that. That's really why I'm here. No, yeah, no, it really isn't. So, but nonetheless, let's ro roll with it currently. What are your feelings about the Daron Gult Rebellion? Not that they are our brother, or led out by our brother, and he killed our father. <laughs> Rebels are bad. I witnessed them kill my father with my own eyes. Good enough. Oh, <laughs> go on in, okay. I'll go wherever I'm needed. Yeah, yeah, this would be going a whole lot better with SSD. I'll do it. Everything explored in the town small home, bright guard headquarters. So where are we supposed to be going? Royal Steeds Temple. to go then to head into the inn what was this here ah that was a shop The heck are you looking at that piece of? <laughs> I'll do it. So, do you have lady something to Hello. say here? Some news about the town. You can see it. What can I get you today? Uh, what can you tell me about this place? Ah, you must be new here, surely. This is the cooked haggler, finest inn you can find in Isilbright. The meat is cold, the beds are soft, the patrons, well, the patrons are a bit more rich, a bit more stuck up, and a bit less likely to step you in the chest than in other places. I guess it's some kind of better inn. Should I like to rent the room? I guess let's have a look at that. 
Yeah, browse in the rooms of an inn. Each of your characters must be assigned to a specific room before they can be sent to rest. Aha! Okay, interesting. Each room costs the same no matter how many characters are resting inside. You can assign the character to a room by clicking their portrait next to the desired room category. So that's gonna be something like, yet again, Pillars of Eternity. And therefore giving you some different perks, I guess. You can even hire a guard. Oh well. So that you aren't disturbed in your sleep. Scriptorium, which is offered in ways of comfort, but it's a haven of peaceful study for scholarly types. Renting the scriptorium will automatically identify some of the unidentified items in the party's inventory based on their learning and research skill. Nice. Uh huh. King size room. Uh, these lodgings are divided into several private spaces and dining room, complete with large windows and room service. King size rooms restore a large amount of health to party members during rest. Noble is going to be neat and tidy, equipped with comfortable rugs and a hearth to offer warmth. The beds are soft and spacious, ensuring sweet dreams for the weary traveler. Resting at noble rooms will restore a moderate amount of health to party members. Basic room provides the bare minimum of comfort at a very low price. They consist of simple beds and a table with stools, not much else. Still, basic rooms restore more health to party members than camping in the wilderness. Hmm. Apparently that's what she has in the shop. She's apparently selling fireflies as well. Pittering. Interesting name for a mushroom. I'll go wherever I'm needed. Lord Smedrick, if any were to ask, I would compare Lady Bia's exquisite present to the light of the dawn. Uh, I would never compare Lady Bia's lovely visage to anything so harsh as that. I think the reflection of moonlight on a still pond is more apt. My lords are too kind, but you know, I'm finding it a titch stuffy in here. I believe I will step out for some air. Let me fan you, milady. I do carry a fan for such occasions. Mine is fashioned from pheasant. Ha! <laughs> Dirty wild creatures are pheasants. My fan is fashioned from peacock feathers. Step aside, paupers. My fan is crafted from the feathers of the legendary phoenix. In summer it cools the tea, and in winter, warms. Really, my lords, I have a needlepoint back at my apartments that I'm most eager to complete. If you'll excuse me. Nonsense, Lady Biala. I cannot go an hour longer without you choosing me over these two scoundrels. I cannot wait another minute until you select me over these two vagabonds. A second, me, nincompoops. What a spectacle these men make of themselves. A dwarf woman would know how to handle such a situation. A gentle rap on the temple with the backside of her axe. Well, let's see if he can help her out. Yeah, I think it's gonna be spellcaster to join us. Yes. We need our help. Oh, Lord Smedrick, as much as your poetry is alarmingly metaphorical, I still must insist that you speak to no one regarding your thoughts on my resemblance to a flower bud ready to open. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Again, persuasion, prodigy. Oh well, can be having some interesting options. So which one is gonna be the one to choose? The king's about to make an announcement at the palace. Something about a new tax to be levied on the nobility. <laughs> so far, Bergen and persuasion basically seems lying. I'm not sure I like him that too much. I don't like to lie. Very so often Lady Biala makes a gesture for a minor cantrip, which requires a single word to complete, but she cannot finish it without giving herself away. I know what's needed here. Milady, there you are. I'm most eager to consider our discussion on funicular imperidae and its possible utility as a cure for our for outer ear fungal infections. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the bottle of finest. <laughs> okay, thinking at the second, I'm liking. Uh, she's trying to put some spell out, but she's simply being interrupted all the time. 
Well, Genar apparently can be even scaring them off. Lord Smedric, your hair is on fire. What? Ah! <laughs> That's rather spoiled the mood, I'm afraid. That was neatly done. Who do I have to thank for my rescue? Black it be my name. Glad to be of service. Oh, can be actually playing a mysterious one of her and on her. <laughs> oh, don't think you have been sick or the safe from anything. I'm the next in line. With the nonsense is. <laughs> I'm really liking really how they're thinking the design is about the conversations. So far, really, they kind of fit in me with their humor and where they're going with it. I am the Lady Biola of the Feldegug, darling of the court and spellweaver extraordinaire. But of course, you know all that. No, I have no idea. Hmm. <laughs> Not strong enough to carry the ledger. I mean, like, this is... You could be playing such a fun character in this game, to be honest. I'm really liking this because it's gonna be making it fun to stream. Usually these games are... Um, not entirely picked up by like high level streamers or high level like high viewer streamers that I wanted to say but nonetheless it really could be making for a lot of fun jokes here can't say that I do though you honestly don't know me how delightful I'm so tired of the endless legions of fawning arrows and vicounts and hangers on one can hardly walk down the street here without tripping over them and if you don't know me you must be new to Isilbright Doubly or the doubly delightful. Well, I'm very pleased to meet you. What brings you to your capital? Probably trying to learn about Lord Espen. That seems good. Hmm. <laughs> ah, what luck! The disposition of noble titles is practically a second career of mine. You must allow me to accompany you. I will make sure you find what you wish to know and thereby repay the good turn you've done me. Oh, thereby what? This I'm a bit confused by this. And thereby repay the good turn you've done me, disposing of those well-bred parasites. Seems fair. Then we agreed. Suggest we try the palace first or the Hall of Records. I guess. Yes. So we do have spellcaster with some funny stuff apparently on her. What is she? Okay, she's having a few things on her. Very high intelligence and focus. Hmm. I'm always ready. And apparently charisma is rather high. Yeah. You're more higher than us. And me? considering that he's supposed to be a charmer and a beauty, I guess eight charisma is high. So seven is probably not gonna be low either. I'm listening. We'll find a solution. Yes, six, so I'm watch always her. ready. You can be having even earrings. That is nice. That is a very nice addition to the game, having just the rings and necklaces. Very good idea to add that. Very good idea indeed. So far I'm really liking the design of this. It's gonna keep into what we are used to. As I mentioned, the DND, BGs, and Icewind Dales, and whatever. But at the same time, it's innovating in kind of like nice ways, just kind of like adding above it instead of trying to change it like Pillars of Eternity was doing. There again, Persuasion, nice resistances on the fancy blue boots. You can probably strip her naked and throw her at through a curb, as you can usually do in these games. Wow, alchemist gloves, huh. Resistance is on absolutely everything and even dexterity. And she's having brilliant sapphire stuff. She seems to be like a really good spellcaster though. Mm, to, to focus, she seems to be good. It's so welcome to the course. party lady.
Frackers. Let's go through all of Frackers, therefore. And be able to figure that out. Maybe it would be an interesting way how to, like, frame the today's stream. Because I don't necessarily want to be playing all of it, because this is only demo and I kind of like would be like to experience the whole game then. And frankly, I'm really interested in playing the whole of this game. So far I'm really impressed, I'm really liking it. Almost invisible in the grass. Castle District, the Warden Haft. I guess Castle District is where you're gonna be having the official business, right? This one's taking a bit to load for us. Some fancy graphics. Castle Hall of Records. Yes, that's I'll where do we it. are supposed to be going, probably. Or where she let us know to go. Oh! Patrol Golem, okay. Hall of Records card. Make way, come on. Can't you see the lady Biala is trying to come through? I beg your pardon on this unworthy person's behalf, my lady. Thank you, sir, but this uh, commoner is actually a friend of mine. Oh, really? Really? He's not holding a hostage or anything like that, is he? Wink twice if that is the case. No, not at all, but we do have urgent business in the Hall of Records. May I? Of course, my lady. Oh, the my lady, not my lady, I guess. You and your friend are free to come and go as you please. I 
I guess it's also that the long loading at the start was because there are several big places like that that need to be loaded into memory. And then, of course, used. So I guess that's going to be it. Should I talk to them first? <laughs> I guess not. I'll do it. My lady, it is good to see you. And you, record keeper. I know you are a busy man, so I'll get right to it. My friend needs information about a certain nobleman. Yeah, I know if anyone can help us, it's you. Very flattering, Lady Biala, and also very correct. Sir, what do you wish to know? What is the fate of Lord Espen? Dead, I'm afraid. Killed in a raid on his estate just as the war erupted. And what happened to the estate? Sacked by Deron Gould, the savages. The King's Scouts reported no survivors and wars. Some dangerous creatures have decided to make it there then. The crown cannot spare the manpower to clear them, clear them out, so I suppose it shall fall to the heir or heirs. Who claimed the estate after Lord Espen's demise? Well, uh, <clears throat> the dispos disposition of the Espen estate is of course confidential. I am legally bound to discuss the topic with no one who isn't directly concerned, that is to say, blood relatives only. Actually, probably should be coming to the older brother, right? Which is the guy who killed him. Alden, or whatever was the name. <laughs> Guess what? We're looking at the new Lord Espen. <laughs> uh, maybe being honest with him is can be leading to problems, but kind of like in that option. And I discovered after his death that Lord Espen was my father. Well, that is interesting. Espen did have an heir, a son named Aldnar. But there is no way for Alnar to claim the legacy since he quite decisively turned traitor to the crown. Okay, so there's at least that. That traitors cannot be inheriting. Good. The matter of the patricide or the patricide makes him doubly damned on that account. My sympathies for your loss, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I'm over it, where's the money? Yeah, it's kinda of what I mentioned whenever you're going into the town, right? <laughs> Thank you. Can you help me claim my title? Did Lord Espen never recognize you as his son when he was alive? Uh, <laughs> just just put. Nope. No matter. Sorry, that took out there for a bit. We have a record of every noble title and line and knighthood in Iselmeralt right here in this building, going back centuries. I merely need to locate the correct document confirming your claim. Shouldn't take it more than an hour, providing I don't get turned around in the stacks. Make yourselves comfortable, perhaps you would like to peruse this treatise on the correlation of grain supply with the number of offspring in noble houses. I mean like, what kind of paper can be letting him know that I'm his son, when I was obviously just b a bastard? And probably even like not record it anywhere, I guess. Oh, my, 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 oh, my. Record Keeper, are you ill? <laughs> I feel dreadful, my dear. Oh, yes, I do. It's all quite troubling. Very troubling. What did you find? What did I find? It's fine. It's what I did not find that is so vexing. There's no record of your birth at all. No, that's what I was mentioning. Oh, no. Isn't it frightful? I don't recall that I've ever searched for such a record and found an error like this. This whole house rests on the concept of a complete genealogy of noble lineage from the highest of the high, his majesty to the lowliest count. But what does this mean to me? 
<laughs> Imagine how I feel, this raises the question of whether I even exist. Since there is no record of the event, is this an illusion? Is this someone's dream? Ah yes, you. Let me set aside this blow to my life's work, to my very being. Yes, let's put that down and return to your very urgent request. If you wish to claim the title and estate of the late Lord Espen, you must find documented proof of your lineage. And if no such proof is available here, it must be found on the estate or nowhere. Return to me with the correct documentation and I will see that you are recognized as Lord Espen's son and heir. Okay, so apparently going back home. I'll go wherever I'm needed. What do you want, do Lord it. Alfred? Hello. Hey, you. Yes, you. Come over here. I seem to have forgotten my scroll of invitation in the, in the Hall of Records, and I have a very important meeting shortly in the Royal Palace. I can't just barge in without it, can I? Make yourself useful. Go fetch it for me. I mean, like, maybe, like, say please, or I can say no. Uh, let's see what he gives us for that. Do it. Uh, I've seen it a noble command below just be gonna find official records of the at the estate. I wasn't there really yet. <clears throat> okay, it's not like I was just worried maybe it's gonna be ending the quest somehow. Finding the invitation somewhere in this. It's gonna be that one. Nope. Maybe it's gonna be on this table. Yes. Fairly usual scroll bearing the signature of King Beliandric. While it looks rather mundane, it might still hold value to someone. I'll go wherever I'm needed. Hopefully, we are not helping any kind of murderer. <laughs> We've had that few times, things like that in Witcher. Been. Have you found my scroll yet? It is of utmost importance that you bring it to me. If you don't, your lord will not be pleased to hear about your insubordination towards Lord Arflert. Okay. <laughs> but you know what? I decided to keep it. That would be quite a nice troll answer. Let's troll with him. I 
I mean, that I'm also a sir, sir. I'm not your lab dog. It's gonna go that way. I'm kind of really tempted to troll him, though. Tempted, tempted very, very much. All right, now I'm just trying to decide how I'm gonna be moving forward. Obviously, I wouldn't be trolling in normal playthrough, maybe in the demo, but nonetheless, let's continue with the normal one. But um, this is really fun. A lord, a Velpiak yourself, don't make me laugh. Bring me my scroll. Okay, you've earned your troll king. answer. What is that supposed to mean? There is no way for Rectex like yourself to speak to a man of my stature. And it over right now, or I swear I'll have you hanged for your lack of respect or nobility. I <laughs> can't be apparently teaching him some good manners with that. Fine, take it, it's useless anyway. I'm not entirely about to be apologizing to him. Useless whelp, off with you. I hope you've learned the place now. Don't suffer disrespect again. <laughs> 25 XP. I guess it's gonna be getting different XP it. based on how you solve this. Let's go directly in back into our former home. Let's not explore the city, let's leave that for the full game. It's supposed to be like the prologue and the first chapter. So I guess if you are still in the prologue, I imagine. I wonder if it ends when you find what's actually going on with you, or you find your stature or man. Sure. I'll do it. Let's dance. I'll go wherever. I'll make it. Yeah? It's night. Of course. I'm always ready. Why not? On my way. What do you wish of me? It's night. That seems like the place to be. We'll find a solution. I'm listening. I still on my way. Go ahead. No, let's In help her. No, yes. Are you certain? When I'll go wherever I'm needed. <laughs> yeah. Time to problem solve. That seems like the place to be. Don't seems like they're gonna be having a conflict with them. Okay. Guess it's gonna be time to summon the spideys. I go. Whatever you say. Taste I'm always ready. Why not? It's I'm nice listening. Needed. Yeah? You've got this coming! We'll find a solution. What do you need? Probably should be healing. Is 
he healing? Yes, you can see it's apparently just a bit like one thing after the other, so not like immediately. You're in my way. Let's see. Hmm, of course. Oh, they're actually attacking the spiders. I think they were attacking her. Yes. Nope. It's nice to be yeah. needed. Still no treasure from that, really. I'll do it. Let's dance. Hmm. I'll go wherever I'm needed. Agreed. It's of course. Need to be getting some ranged weapons coming. there for her. What if, as you say. Oh, well, that's I'll activating all of them. That is not go good at in the slightest. Okay, yeah. so you need to be healing possibly. We'll find a solution. What do you need? It's nice. That seems like the place. Time to problem solve. I'm always ready. Why not? We'll find a solution. This ends now. Can I actually go into inventory during fight? Apparently, yes, you can. And even during pause. Because I'm thinking you're gonna be go having ahead. to switch you some potions here. I'm listening. Whatever you say. Nice. Yeah, on my way. And there is still one squad left, right? Mm. I'm loose. You're in charge. It's nice to be needed. Let's dance. Hmm. We have a Severin Sparkle, what does it do? Both considering nature energies conjured through caster's fingertips. Can he hurl the target to inflict serious damage? Okay. What do you wish of me? Seems like the place to be. You've got this coming. Hmm. Time to problem solve. Yes. Nothing will stop me. It's nice to be here. We go again. Okay. Oh, he dead. Why not? That not be good. I'll do it. You've got this coming. Plot character died. Oh well, you actually have an even plot characters that cannot die. Oh well, that's a novelty for certain. Curious. So apparently the dwarf is not important, but this lady is important. Curious. So let's maybe try to get this fight done. I'm thinking it might be for the whole introduction of the game. Definitely enjoying that. We're looking forward to possibly play it whole. I'll do it. But to I'm be listening. doing with you. You heal up. I go.
Yeah? Let's dance! Yes. I'm always ready. What do you wish of me? It's nice to be needed. Time to problem solve. We'll find solve. a solution. I'll make it. You're in my way! Go ahead. My stealing stone! You've got this coming! It's nice. Here we go again. Probably I'm thinking that in the time we're gonna be able to get a few more. What do you wish of me? Are you certain? A few more characters. So they are having the full party because this is. I mean, like, Grace, you need to be having some challenge, but I wonder if maybe. This doesn't have to be, or rather, cannot be made maybe a bit easier somewhere. Okay, there we go. Should you gonna be getting the kill? Cool. If. Yeah, good. Just thinking maybe he dies to poison. <laughs> I'm not kidding, not. I'll go wherever I'm needed. So I guess that's gonna be us an entry into a dungeon, right? With plenty more monsters there. I'll do it. Hmm, more scorpions are gonna be here. Yeah, let's gonna try maybe right now sleeping here just in the spot. If you actually can, can see where enemies are nearby, so you'd have to be probably sleeping in the courtyard, I imagine. So let's see how that also looks. On the outside, maybe if you get even ambushed, it's not out of the question, I guess, with all the scorpions nearby. And you don't apparently need any kind of tools, as you were, for example, in Pillars of Eternity. So you're gonna be healed, yes. you are... what kind of spell book you were having? Snow, Fever, Summon Spider. Ah, the Fever is kinda useless for her. At least I don't like it too much. So I guess some extra this. But she apparently does have even the second level already. She's having. She's a summoner. It seems like. What is she even? Spell weaver. Yes. Okay. So it's a specialized mage. And Bravel heat. Interesting. Different type of damage to different actual armor that the units are gonna be having, or unit soldiers and whatever. And red lightning. So that's haste. Oh no, that's not a haste, it just should jump away. Huh, with the damage there as well, that's cool. Hmm. I'll do it. Yeah? I'll go wherever I'm needed. Let's see if maybe you can be sneaking into the room, just to see if maybe there is the 
a secret. Uh, the secret, I can like the information in there. If not, then I'm not gonna be looking the whole through the whole estate, but just maybe if that could be some way how to move forward because I think it might be the prologue. You know, deal with that and have it done. Can I actually somewhat set up how they're gonna be ordered? Yeah, there is a formation. Mm, it's kind of like a classic one. I'm listening. I go. Hmm. What the hell Boy, was that? As you say. Okay. Manticore even here. Yeah, and he's stuck in it. spot because of all the scorpions. Let's dance. But you're in shot by stealing stone. It's not. I'll go wherever I'm needed. Wow. Nice insta kill. So I guess better be a bit more careful. No, dealing with Mantico with what I have, that seems actually a bit over the top. So I'm really thinking you should be getting probably the full party before you even get back. I'll do it. I'm listening. I go. Hmm. I'll go wherever I'm needed. Yeah, of course. Let's dance. Go ahead, as you say. It's not on my way. Time to problem solve. Why not? It's nice to be needed. Yes. What the hell? He died that quickly? Wow, we definitely need some heal for this. Yeah, that seems like the place to be. Mm hmm. Yeah, so I'm thinking that you're not gonna be probably even able to do this currently. So I guess that might be actually it and leaving it up to the full game to learn where actually the information is going to be hidden because this seems like we are not entirely all that ready for this. Let's maybe right now give a last attempt with actually using the spells earlier. But without the healing, seems a tough one. And there's still one huge mon or the scorpion to deal with. So let's give it a last shot. And if it doesn't work out, it's gonna be it. I'm gonna be leaving it for the full game then.
listening? I go. Yes? Hmm. I'll do it. Go on. As you say. Yeah? I'll go wherever I'm needed. What do you need? Whatever you... By stealing stuff! You're in charge. It's nice to be needed. I'm Amazon. You're in my way! Why not? Of course. What do you imply? Hmm. On my way. Whatever. As you say. Why not? Let's dance. Yeah. It's nice to be needed. What do you wish of me? Hmm. Time to problem we'll find solve. find a solution. It's nice to be needed. Why not? I'm always ready. Yeah? Oh, it's already that, okay. You've got this coming. Yes. I'm listening. You're in charge. No, nope, he still dies. What do you wish of me? Are you certain? Hmm. That seems like the place Why to be. Not? Here we go again. What do you wish? Let's see. This ends now. It's nice. Of course. Time to problem solve. Yeah? On my way. Okay, at least the bot character survived. Hopefully that's nobody inside. Yeah. Hmm. I'll do it. Okay, so it's apparently not that easy. Just gonna look in if maybe there is going to be something here. But nope. There is a pretty big nope on that. No, and that's gonna be there for meaning that... That's going to be it. I'm right not trying to take a screenshot of this. Four. No, let's make, uh, making you safe or a big save, but nonetheless, you'll be probably loading even before that when you have a dead guy. You'll be going back into the temple to resurrect him if there is a possibility, but nonetheless, that's therefore going to be it. Let's maybe see if yeah, that for the resurrection like is the working. It's right now just curious to me a bit. And what's gonna happen when we are overloaded? Yeah, you just cannot be walking fast enough. Hmm, rather take this suit. No, considering that we have the skin that it's gonna be as a classic resurrecting possibility at the temple. The temple was at the merchant's quarters, right? I think it was. I'll do it. But that Manticore really does look quite a bit challenging, frankly. No, it seems to be a fairly actually strong dungeon to be beginning with this early in the game. Yeah, I think it was the Market Street.
Come on, come on, come on with load. Almost there. Wow, it's taking quite a bit for some reason here. But unless, there we go. Yeah, because the game has really grown on RAM usage, like seriously, right? Pattern and three and a half gigs, three point seven. It wasn't really that much before. You can write about now, even show that. Mm -mm. is taking quite a bit here on the memory. Didn't used to be for the whole game, just only now it quite a bit increased. That's otherwise what we are running upon most of the time here. As I said, I'm having i5-3540, 3.4 GHz quad-core as a CPU. GPU is HD AMD uh, 7900. 3 gigabytes RAM, so something like NVIDIA 1060, approximately. And 8 gigs RAM I am having. And I'm playing on normal hard drive, I'm not playing on SSD. I'm not hoping that the game is actually gonna be <laughs> loading back up. Because there was a thing with that before as well. Okay, there we go. I'll do it. Hello? Greetings, sir. Have you come to admire the grandeur of our temple? You are welcome to share in its glory. I wonder, would you offer you, would you offer your aid to ensure the safety of Yerengal as Alnarius at Telindia created her? The task I have in mind requires an able-bodied adventurer like yourself. I'm uh, not entirely all that interested at this point in this, but what do you need able bodies for? Fighting for some violence will surely be involved. The danger of which I speak is the undead. They've been wandering north in great numbers. Tort is still bright. From that area called Screaming Barrows. The prey or the day prey on merchants and travelers. They spoil our forests and fields and are generally a blight upon the land. 
Heroes are needed to rid us of this evil. The church is also needed, of course, to guide and coordinate their efforts. Alright, I do what I can. Wonderful. They were blessed outrageous. I have a report of another horde of these abominations approaching the city from the southwest along the merchant's road. Ensure your dispatch or the ensure you dispatch every last of them. You can see that he already disappeared. So are we not gonna I'll be go able to resurrect him? Needed. So I guess that this is the real healer. Hmm. What sort of way do you f I like one of my friends revived? To whom we should we attend to? Actually, don't need any. Aha! Yeah, so there is a resurrection, but you do probably have a limited time for that or whatever. Huh. Because you already disappeared. But yes, you can heal here and or the resurrect. And it seems like it's gonna be for free. I blame the king. Oh, you blame the king, it's good for you, I guess. Yeah, the fear tree, the worst of injuries that might have befallen you or that goes to you or those close to you. By the light of Alnarius, we can bring you back from the brink of death. The preparation for casting magic like ours takes considerable time and costs precious components. Should you need to purchase these services, be sure to prepare an ample supply of golden coins to pay for them. Some of 300. Uh, so it's not for free, of course. 300 gold, therefore. Of course. But yeah, the Dudos is somewhat off. So I'm wondering if therefore he's lost. Let's right now return back there. See if he's gonna be activating, if it's kind of like based on map or whatever. And we need to somehow pick up his body or if he's just for good gone. And you are therefore limited on time when you can actually resurrect him. It's not gonna be as long load to go in back there as it was going here. I'm slightly worried it might be that because the RAM usage something maybe happened with exactly the game that it's somewhat incarnated, maybe some leak or whatever. Hopefully not. But it's taken definitely considerably longer than before. But yeah, on SSDs it's gonna be better, and obviously I'm thinking that this is also something that I have also witnessed on some other games lately. Maybe something not entirely savory is going with my hard drive possibly as well, so don't be entirely discouraged by that, simply try it yourself. I'm thinking it might be having some better experience. But it was kind of fine really before, so I'm not sure what happened right now in the last, I don't know, 50 minutes.
And hey, Prowler. Yeah, it's quite good. Very good game. Definitely recommend it. You possibly could be going for the demo as well. They are probably still given the keys. So you can try if you can be getting your own and trying the demo out. Really good game. Definitely liking it way more than Pillars of Eternity, actually. Liking it way more than that so far. So looking forward to some better play this game in full. Definitely quite great isometric RPG of the old school variant. Just right now at the end having some issues with longer loading times, which is, I'm thinking it's going to be partly because of my computer being somewhat funny, but it also seems like it, I don't know, maybe we encountered something, but the whole game it was fine, just kind of normal loading times, but here at the end, the last few loading times are just absolutely insane for some reason. Maybe just the game already asking us to wait for the full version. <laughs> I'll do it. We'll be waiting for Pathfinder 2. And yeah, in my opinion, it's better than Pillars so far. I'm liking the world more and kind of like the design of it, that they're not trying to be Definitely different as Pillars of Ostrion. Pillars of Ostrion way too much to be different than Dungeons and Dragons. And here, they are kind of similar. They do have some kind of extra additions on top of it, which I really enjoy so far. Kind of nice details. But at the same time, it's also nicely recognizable and it's not different for the sake of being different too much. At the same time, it's also still its own game. You're gonna be seeing some similarities, like for example, Definitely something like inventory is very similar to actual Pillars of Eternity. It's pretty much like almost a cop carbon copy, you could be saying. But overall, a really good game. Having a good time with it. Hopefully this load is not going to be that long. Hmm, seems like it. maybe the game could be using the restart therefore. Not really sure if it's gonna be caused by my computer or if it's some kind of combination. But yeah, well, if you will be looking into the past broadcast, you're gonna be seeing it pretty much like the whole stream, it was fine. Just here the last 15 minutes is acting up for some reason. I kinda half blame my computer. It has been a bit funny here and there, not sure really why the past few weeks, not sure if it was some kind of Windows update or whatever. But yeah, well, the loading times, they are a bit of a thing. It seems like there plenty of games lately, I assume you're gonna be using SSD for everything. So if you're having some older computer with normal hard drive, then definitely be ready for at least a bit of patience here and there. I'll do it. Okay, so let's go in to see if it's gonna be reactivating the body or if he's really lost if you're gonna be waiting too long.
Uh, it's gonna be early access. It's not a full release, 2016 a week. That's early access. Not sure if the game is gonna be f like a fully playable through and through. Not sure about that. That's gonna be, I guess, some info there on that. But it's early I'll access. It's it. not a full release, as far as I know. Okay, so he's having still the dead body here, but uh, I I'll guess you it. cannot be doing anything with him. Yeah, so I guess you actually lose him if you're gonna be waiting too long for the resurrection. Interesting. No, nonetheless, that's gonna be there for it. For the stream today. So that's uh, Helgenhar. That he's still there. You can see he's still showing up here. But you cannot actually resurrect him. Maybe you couldn't resurrect him because he didn't have money. Not sure. But <laughs> this one not entirely all that going to be loading really into it. So that's going to be right now introduction in case you're gonna be interested into Black Gazer, Careers of Darkness. An upcoming isometric old school RPG of the vein of Baldur's Gate, Icewind Dale, Pillars of Eternity, or anything along those lines. And yes, as you could have gleaned if you were following me with the stream, I'm really enjoying this game. I'm really liking it. I'm liking it more than Pillars of Eternity. And so far, this looks really promising. Quite great. Some things here and there. I also need to be set down and play on the lowest details so that I can stream. So the graphics will be possibly looking much better for you. If you are, I'll be playing on some better rig and not streaming, for example. But overall, I'm liking the sound design is nice. Overall, the game design is also pretty solid. I'm liking the sense of humor and the style. It really fits me. So I think that's cool that it's not feeling forced and anything. Just kind of fits. There are some things like in the dialogue options that sometimes I will be liking to be that it's done a bit differently, maybe adding some other option and whatever like that, but yeah, well of course you cannot be pleasing everybody. So I'm guessing that's gonna be a personal preference and overall it's just kind of fine. You can choose your kind of like snarky answer, evil answer effectively, good answer, so classic, classic things like that that you might be used to from all these games. So definitely recommend to potentially give a go to the demo. If you're gonna be still lucky for the key, I have the information on that on Facebook, Twitter and the Discord. If you are interested, it's gonna be of course on Black Gaze, the Discord and Twitter and YouTube or the Facebook, sorry. Not sure if they have Discord or biggest thing maybe, but I found it on their Facebook and Twitter as well. They have a bit of a giveaway for the demo keys. So try if they still have some because it's for free, basically for some email newsletter. That's all that you need to be doing. And you can be testing it yourself, therefore, if you enjoy it. No, and as was well said, next week, 26th August, they're gonna be releasing early access. You can find some more information about that on Steam, of course. And no, just personally, I'm looking forward to the full game to play it somewhere and finishing it because this has really captivated me. And in my opinion, this is a very good game. As I've played it, I haven't exactly discovered any kind of like huge problems. It didn't crash on me. He was playing fine, just the pathfinding maybe seemed a bit uh, funny at times, but that's kind of like a bit of a thing in these games sometimes, so let's see if they can be improving on that. But overall, it wasn't like a too much of a problem. Just maybe when you were going across the whole map, then they tended to be getting stuck on a, like, I don't know, leaves or trees or anything a bit. But they managed to find a way through anyway, so I guess that was fine. And overall, the mechanisms are quite easy to comprehend if you have played, as I said, Baldur's Gate, Pillars of Eternity, anything like that. So it's all something you're gonna be familiar with. Even if it might be called a bit differently, looking a bit different, it's still pretty clearly similar. So you can definitely tell what's going on and what's up. So okay, so that's gonna be that for today. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you, Rich, for that raid at the start. And... Hopefully you're gonna have some good fun with HM mythology, mythology further, Prowler as well. Thank you for stopping by at the end and as I said, recommend testing this out and following this game. I have been following it for a few years since I've learned about it and its development and it seems like the guys have done a really good work. So congrats on that and wish you all the best with uh, your releases, early access and the full release and hope you're gonna be making it big with this because this is a very good game and should be getting, hopefully, some really good reviews and everything like that and maybe it's gonna be one of the 
industry staples as well for this type of role playing games. No cow, so I've been Blackheader at Blackheader's Place. Thank you very much for watching and see you later and hope you enjoyed as I did. And yet again, thanks for the refs for putting effort into games like these still because they really are quite great. Not sure if only for the old schoolers like me, but hopefully even for the modern audiences because heavy story based games like that, never enough of them for the single player experience. Okay, see you.